Hello? 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 <laughs> uh. Hi! <laughs> I'm surprisingly happy for Tuesday. But how are you guys doing? How are you doing? Welcome back, welcome back. I know I haven't streamed since Friday, but and I can kind of feel like I, it's it's been that long. But we're here, we're back, and it is Tuesday, which usually isn't the best day of the week, uh far from it, but today, today it's good. It is good. Um <laughs> but hey Craig they compose Serufian. You love my necklace? Thank you. Actually, I have had it for such a long time, but I I never have like the, the right neckline for it, like the, the clothes that I'm wearing. But now I do. So now I now I can use it. <laughs> Friday. I mean f did I say Friday? I mean it could be Friday if you want it to be. Um but hey, Serufian, how you doing? But yeah, I'm, I'm happy because, um, well, I actually bought a new mattress for my, my, my guest bed a few, like a couple of weeks ago. And I've had to call them every single day because it was supposed to come like the day after, but they said that it could take longer. And today I finally got the message that I could go and pick it up. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I need help from my mom to do that. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. But today I have a little box. I have a little box. As you guys probably remember, on Wednesday last week, I did a little unboxing on stream then as well. Um, which was um, the vinyl for uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, the, it's not the, um, the limited edition one. I'm still waiting for that one. I'm still waiting for that one. Um, but today, we got a different one from Lorien. And yes, I have I have made it so you can't see my address or name or anything. <laughs> I actually I was about to go live and I saw oh shit. It's on the back too. I, I need to I need to I need to get that out of there. Um so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do I thought of that. Yeah. What do, you, what do you mean? <laughs> um, but mattress hype, you need a new one too. Mm. It is it is smart. It is smart because you know, the few things that you need to consider the most when it comes to your, your physical health in your home is like a good bed and a good chair or couch, whatever you spend the most time in out of the two. Which I would assume that it is, uh, for most of us who spend time on Twitch, is probably a, uh, an office chair or a gaming chair. So, matches, very smart. Um, but yeah, I need, a, I definitely need a new one because I am so... <sighs> well, the first one, Sirius, he, he peed uh, on that one because he... The, the reason why he did that was because he needed to stay in indoors. Uh, this was like two years... Was it two years ago? No. Was it that long ago? I don't know. But he needed to stay indoors because he had... Um, he had an infection. And he was not used to using the, the, the litter box. He, he held it in for, for such a long time. Until he just peed on that bed so i had to i had to get rid of that mattress um it was old anyway so it was fine but i had two mattresses on that bed so now since then i've only had one 
and you can kind of feel the um, the bottom of the bed through the mattress. <laughs> so it's not very comfortable to use. So I really needed a new one. I really needed a new one. Maybe the package in, in my hands is a new gaming chair. I mean, that would be nice. I actually do need a, well, I, I don't know if I need to, but like, you know how these chairs are. They're, they're not, they're not the best. They're not the best. So I would, I would like to have an extra one, um, or like I would have, would like to have a new one. So this could be my extra one. <laughs> um, hey, Gobi, how you doing? A proper office chair would be better. Mm. I've had this one for, I think I've had this one since 2017, I think was when I bought it. Um... But hello, Gobi. I hope you're doing well. I hope, I hope everything is going well with the move. Um. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I, I changed the font of the chat. Uh, I wish I could do that in in Streamlabs, but I can't. So I had to I had to use Stream Elements to do that because I really I don't know. I just I just I don't know if it's very clear to see though. Maybe I need to change it again. That wasn't really my plan to do that, but I, I don't know. It, it might not be too readable compared to the one that I had. Um, All good there. A little warm though. It's 29. I'm getting up to 32. Jesus. You're 17. But I mean, it's a little bit earlier for you though. We like it, the font. Mm. I'm glad, I'm glad. It's the font that I use for everything these days. I use it for my, my... I use it for uh, my thumbnails as well. <laughs> oh, Gobi, thank you for the 69 butts. Gobi, thank you for the 69 butts. <laughs> Nearly forgot. I, I, I definitely forgot. <laughs> but thank you so much. Also, guys, I don't know if you saw, I mean, you probably, I don't know if you saw before it changed, but... And I have told you guys in the Discord as well, that tomorrow, I'm gonna start a brand new playthrough of Elden Ring. It's gonna be New Game Plus. And... Uh, the reason why it's on New Game Plus is because I am planning on doing a wheel spin No, not DLC. No, no, no. I'm starting a brand new playthrough from, from the beginning. Well, it's going to be New Game Plus, so it's not brand new because that's the whole point that I need the... I need all my, my weapons and everything. So we're going to do New Game Plus where I'm going to... For every five subs or 1500 bits, I'm going to do a wheel spin where I have to use a random weapon for 20 minutes. And if no one has done any of that, I'm just gonna stick with whatever weapon that I'm comfortable with. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. And as an extra incentive, I also added a new uh, sub goal as well. So when it reaches 75 subs, it's, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing the Ronnie cosplay again. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the Ronnie cosplay again. I, the reason why I put it so high is because it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It takes me a few hours to put on all the makeup and everything because it's 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 a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, so it's just you know. So there are two incentives. You know, just 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 as, a, as an extra treat. You know. Tusta, yeah, Tusta, she's always up here now. <laughs> hey, Marty! How you doing? How you doing? What a beautiful... Thank you! I, I like it too. I like it too. I rarely get to use it though. But... Now I do. Now I do. So pretty, thank you. <laughs> but hi, guys, 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 guys. Do you want me to? Do you want? Do you want the little, little unboxing? You know, the sneaky little unboxing. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. I already know what it is, though, because I mean, you can tell by the the, the shape of the box because either it would have been the limited edition vinyls or it would have been the 
Well, I mean, I've told you before. But you'll see. You'll see. It's a rectangle? Yeah! It is. Very, very astute observation there, Gobi. You missed all the talk though? No, that's okay. That is okay. We we were just we were just doing uh well not it's just a random talking. <gasps> look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> it is it is it is it is the thing. Look at it. Look at that. I ordered it so long ago. And I even waited a long time before I ordered it. Because for some reason they were out of stock for a long time. So I couldn't order it when I wanted to. But now, I finally have it. It is pretty nice. Yeah, Sarah also has this one. Does it smell of owlbears and romance options? What would romance options smell like? I mean, you know, with the owlbear, you can kind of guess. Would it be a bear? Would it be an owl? I don't even know what any of those smell like, but... Um... <laughs> but romance options? I wonder what that smells like. <laughs> uh, what is it? It's, it's the... Um, it's the deluxe edition of the game. It is the deluxe edition of the game. I ordered after you got it. That's so late. Definitely among the cool kids. Mm. Well, too bad that I don't give a shit if I'm part of the, the cool kids or not. <laughs> Only the cool kids table. That's, that's a different thing. Ball brigade box. <laughs> I'll know what romance options smell like. I I'm not I'm not everyone then. Or uh, I'm not part of all then. Like a USB key, it, it, I think it's just a Steam key. Surprising twist, it's actually Dark Souls in disguise. You 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 would like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. So it says. Oh, it just. I thought maybe it would say something about the the version itself. <gasps> ah, but I don't like that. I, I don't like that this is a sticker because then I have to remove it. Ah, what am I supposed to do? Should I? Should I? Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm so torn. <laughs> I'm so torn. It's, it's a sticker, but I don't want to ruin the sticker. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I wasn't prepared for that. <sighs> Use a sharp... Well, I mean, that's what I'm using, but it's just... um. BG4? Hmm. Very exclusive. What does it add? Well, that's what you're gonna see. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like this at all. I'm so careful right now. Okay, we did it. We did it. <sighs> Just put it on the shelf and never open it. It will be worth hundreds in a few years. I mean, that depends on how long they will keep selling it. Okay. So. 
so it's a map. It's a little map. I accidentally ended up licking it. I didn't mean to. <laughs> didn't mean to. <laughs> it tasted paper, paper like. Uh, that's interesting. That map is in the style of BG1 and BG3's, uh, B BG2's overworld world maps. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Unless we have no society and electric electricity in hundred. <laughs> I mean, you never know. You never know. Did it taste like romance options? It tasted very dry, so I don't think so. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the poster. I'll probably put this poster up on my wall. God damn it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to not ruin it, okay? I can't see shit, but you guys can. Nice. Johnny Balder. <laughs> Johnny Balder, yeah. That's him, that's him. Yeah, and that was two things I would put on my wall. I love ha having maps on my wall, by the way. I have the map of Hallow Nest on a wall in my living room. You can't see it, but it's it's there. Um, and I have a map right next to me here of uh, the 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 Merlin version of of Camelot. You know the the Merlin BBC show version of the map. <laughs> Stickers. Oh, and these are all the all the all the classes. That's cool. And all the characters. <laughs> I feel like the Halson one is not accurate at all. <laughs> That's cute. That was cute. badger looking creature supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is the- it looks like a badger, but it's not a badger. I don't know what it is. Well, that's cute though. That's cute. Let's see. It's the guy who says it's bouldering time. Mm. Is there some exclusive hot scenes? I mean, I don't know. Uh, you love maps. You browse them instead of a traditional pornography. I mean, to each their own. But I, I can, I can respect that. And here's the the, the game, I suppose. Wait, 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 you can actually have the game on a disc. I mean, it has a code as well. Like a game key. And... The soundtrack on CD! <gasps> so I have them on, on, on vinyl and CD now. That's perfect. I love that. I actually wasn't sure if there would be a physical copy of- I thought it would just be digital. Look at it! I thought it would only be digital, but it's- it's physical as well. That was- that's cool. <gasps> it's the absolute- these are patches. And flaming- <laughs> Flaming fist. Literally a flaming fist. <laughs> it's 
literally a flaming fist. <laughs> and it's the hand of the absolute. <laughs> very, very on the nose there. Patches, but he's from. Uh, well, he, you know how he likes to traverse different uh, worlds like that. You know, it's just his thing. Okay, that's cool. I actually, I just thought that the the music would be digital. So that was a nice surprise that I wasn't expecting. That was a nice surprise. I think that was it. I think that was it. But I'm very happy with it. Nice. Game disc. Mm. Who still has disc player on their PC? I mean, I mean, it's nice to have the option. I don't, but uh, I would. Sometimes I would really like to. I wish that I had. Just because you know, it's. I don't know. I have a lot of Blu-rays and stuff. It would be nice to be able to use my PC for it sometimes. It is cool though. USB DVD drives are like ten dollars on Amazon. Hmm. Nice. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe. But that's. I'm gonna put it on display. I wonder if I it can. F I don't know if it can. F no, I don't. I don't know if it can fit in the in the shelf. But we'll see. I'll we'll see how that goes after stream. The one thing that I'm planning on doing though is that I'm I'm actually I really want to redecorate. I just don't like specifically my 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 desk and everything. I just don't know where I want to put it. If I just wanted to have have it where it is, but I want to like have the desk facing a different way. Or if I want to move it into a completely different room. I don't know yet. And it's difficult to just move it around and see how you feel about it where it is because it's, it's a lot of stuff to move around <laughs> so you kind of just have to settle with a, a spot before uh, before actually moving stuff you know so i don't know i'm considering having it so that the 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 window would be behind me i like having a little nook so i have just but then, I will, no, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to be doing it, though. But we'll, we'll see. I was tempted to do it yesterday. But I had a massive migraine. So I, I woke up. No, I, I got out of bed at like 9 p.m. <laughs> 9 p.m. yesterday. So that was, that was not a good time. I had a lot of plans for the day, which just didn't happen. Um... So, one of these days, I will probably change my setup a little bit. I do, I do want to, I do not, I, I want some change. I want some change. But yeah, so what we're going to do today, we're going to go back to In Stars and Time, which is something that I have been looking forward to because I haven't played it in two weeks now. I canceled stream last Tuesday because I wasn't feeling too good. Um... So today we're gonna go back to it, and it's such, honestly, it's such a good game so far. I I wanted to play it because it reminded me of Undertale and Amori, and I can already tell that this is gonna be a really, really, really good game that I'm gonna, gonna enjoy. Maybe on the same level as those two, I don't know yet, but we'll see. I, and I have a good feeling though. I have a good feeling. It seems very, very similar in some ways, and then unique in other ways, obviously, because it's not—it's not exactly a copy paste uh, of any of the two. It still has its, its unique, 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 uniqueness. <laughs> words, words are hard, okay? They are. But also, I wanted to mention how. Do, do any of you want to guess 
how many weapons I have put on the wheel, uh, the wheel spin for tomorrow. Do any, do any of you want to guess? <laughs> because it's quite, it's, uh, it's, um, at least three. It's, it's not a hundred. It is not a hundred. I, I try to use the one that Streamlabs has, but it, it wouldn't work. I think they have like a, a limit that isn't really specified, but it just didn't work. Uh, like it wouldn't say which it landed on if I sp spun the wheel, even if I did have all the, all the things typed in. So I had to use the same one that Rods uses. And it doesn't seem like there is a limit there. But there is, uh, th there are 159 weapons on the wheel spin. <laughs> 159. I added every single weapon that I had, except like, maybe, you know, a couple of the basic ones and not every single bow that I had. And... And I did not include the staffs, like the 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 one the, the ones that are for pure purely intelligence or faith builds because you know they they don't really work uh, if you don't have enough intelligence or faith, you know. So I, I decided to not have staffs or or what are they called again? The, um, I have it, like, I, I had it, I had it, seals, seals, the seals, so I didn't have the, add the staffs or the seals, need to see a doctor that's not natural, what do you mean, what do you mean, do you want to see what it looks like? Uh, actually, I don't know if I'm gonna show you right now. It, let it just be a surprise tomorrow. It's gonna be a surprise tomorrow. It, Sarufian wants a card. I keep calling you Sarufian. It's just it's just so much fun to say. I love <laughs> Let's draw a card for Sarah. Let's do it. But yeah. There are 159 weapons. It's it's it makes it interesting, you know. Let us get a card for Sarah. Oh, no, we need to do that again because that was that was not just a card. It was like a whole pile. <laughs> it was a whole pile. Let us, let us see. What have you guys been up to though? What have you guys been up to since last time? Oh, for those of you who don't know, who aren't in the Discord or anything, we did finish Bulge Gate 3 on Friday, on Friday. So that's why I'm gonna be playing uh, Elden Ring now. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. A pile of cards. <laughs> hmm. It really bothers me that I can only hear music in one side, on one on one ear. It happens all the time. Let us get a card. It, it's it's not as cooperative today. Maybe it's just, just trying to, to be very accurate, you know? Oh, that was also a whole pile. You're semi-lurking and folding the world's big biggest pile of laundry. That's fair, that's fair. The laundry needs needs um, piling and, and, and folding. Come on. 
I think we got one. I think we got one. <gasps> Raven spirit. Truth. I mean, you, you, you get the gist. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna send you a picture of it anyway. Um, truth. I think I have pulled this one before. I don't remember who got it though, but I have pulled it before. Okay. Raven spirit, truth. As you look up, you see a ra raven peering at you from a branch. It feels like he's gazing straight into your soul. He swoops down and lands on your hand. Amazingly, he begins to talk, telling you the deeper truths of your life. He reminds you to focus on what is important and admonishes you to make choices in life that honor your truth. Stark honesty is called for at this time in your life. In ancient Greece, it was believed that ravens carried messages from the gods, and because of their- That was loud. Um, and because of their acute vision, uh, they were thought to be the bring bringers of truth. The soul loves the truth. What is your truth regarding your life? Be honest with yourself and speak from your hearts. Listen for what is sincere and honest in others. Step away from those who are cagey and duplicitous. Du duplicit. Wait. Duplicitous? Duplicitous? Yeah, I guess. Um, <laughs> the hardest thing about living your truth is knowing exactly what that is. However, there's a place within you that always knows what is real and what isn't. Release situations and people with whom you find yourself less than honest for fear of being judged or not accepted. It can take time to discover what is true for you, but once you know, let go of anything in your life that isn't authentic. Miracles follow when you take time to be genuine. The raven is also considered to be the totem and protector of the queen of fairies. The spirit of the raven says, the soul loves the truth, find your truth, speak your truth, live your truth. Be fearless in your journey, follow your inner guidance, let go of what is not authentic, authentic and sincere in your life, be a shining example of truth for others. And there we go. And there we go. I'm gonna take a picture now. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I always have to make sure that it's not blurry. <laughs> also semi lurking and working you know i appreciate that i appreciate that let's see serufin there we go there we go it is now posted in the discord yeah for those of you who are new here who don't know whenever i do pull a card for, for someone i tag the person in the discord with the the picture of the card and the description so they can they can read it again later on if they want to because you know i'm not the best at reading all the time uh and uh it's also just nice to Read again if you miss what I'm saying, because that is also difficult to pay attention sometimes. I know. I know, because there's a lot of text. Duplicitussy. <laughs> Duplicitussy. <laughs> um, sometimes I tie the entire... I have only done that once, okay? I've only done that once, and... 
people will never forget it. God damn it. God damn it. Eternal work and laundry cycle indeed. It's just such a thankless job, you know? Housework. Because it's never gonna be enough. It's only gonna be... Like, it's only gonna start over again. And that's why... <sighs> yeah, housework is just stupid. <laughs> it's necessary, but it's stupid. <laughs> There's a lot of things that only do ones. Like, or, like, you only do ones, like, yelling, hey, avocado dildo, and yet... Well, you never know, it could happen again. Um... But yeah, I mean, that has been known to happen as well. At least once. <laughs> At least once. Uh, but yeah, let us, let us get into the game, I think. Hold on. I think I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I think I might have to to change the game capture though. I think it's gonna be on Baldur's Gate three now. You don't mind the putting it in the machine and transferring it all to the dryer, but the folding. Hmm. I don't even have a dryer. Because I have to hang them up to dry as well. You hate housework, you need motivation. Your motivation right now is one, you want to get rid of a bunch of stuff for your own mental well being, and two, you want to be ready to foster a kitty. On short notice, they might call any day. Aww. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I also have periods where I just don't do any housework at all because I do not have the, the energy or the, the mental, well, you know, sometimes you're just not feeling like you, you, it doesn't, it doesn't feel important all the time, you know, it doesn't always feel like a top priority, actually it very rarely does. At least for me um but having you know you can actually see my my vacuum right here <laughs> it's charging right now <laughs> it's very useful having having a, a cordless vacuum very very good indeed the the mental yeah that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly. <laughs> i'm glad you know craig also, I missed the music in this game, which you will hear in a minute. Ugh. You're not in the work for the next week, uh, next week, next few months though. So you figured you should become a house husband. I'm sure, I'm sure uh, she will appreciate that. But it's almost, it's almost wedding time, Gobi, isn't it? Isn't it? Hold on. Under three weeks? Damn. Hold on, I need to change the, the game capture. Uh... In start on time. There, there we go. Let me just do that. <laughs> it's the same as Undertale, where you need to press F4 to make it full screen. Under three weeks. Nice, nice. Of course, this vacuum is important, but also you found a mop with a bottle attached. You put soapy water in and you just press the handle when you're washing the floors. It makes it so much easier. You love it. I mean, my vacuum has both. It's it's a mop as well. So I can I can just I can just vacuum and mop at the same time if I want to. <laughs> I deliberately chose one that had both because it's like, you know, this is gonna make things so much easier. Yeah. 
You just got one of those? Hmm. The chat on the stream now is still showing the new font for you. Yeah. It was supposed to. <laughs> it was supposed to do that. Vacuum and mop at the same time. Please, you can't. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to do that. And the good thing about this game is that it doesn't really cover up the game either, because... So I can have more chat on the screen. Yes, yeah, so what happened last time? We... We... Died. And, uh... Well, the circle key is laying on the floor. You pick it up. You found the circle key. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a circle inside a circle inside a circle. Hmm. What's up with the circles? The design on the keychain, you mean? It's one of the symbols of the House of Change belief. Okay, so that's like the, the, the religion here. It's to show that we are all part of something bigger. The first circle is inside the bigger circle, which is also inside a bigger circle. It's also part of a housemaiden's uniform, like Belle's brooch. Yes, this is how I decided to wear it, but you can wear it however you want. As a necklace, as a design on your clothes, or not at all. Breaking tradition, tr breaking tradition, traditions is also part of the change belief. And the teardrops on your brooch. Pretty. Those ding ding when I walk. Don't you love it when things go ding ding when you walk? <laughs> we, we actually... <laughs> there's a command. <laughs> the ding ding. <laughs> I don't remember what I said, but there was there was a command for it. Uh, sure do. You're still curious about this. But the big circle isn't inside anything. It's inside your hands, Sifrin. And you're inside this room, which is inside the house, which is inside Dormont, inside Vogard, inside the, this world, which is here. She points at the smallest circle on the keychain. It's to remind us that as much as we change, we're still part of this world. And we must all do our part to make it a wonderful place. Ah, ding, ding. Ding ding. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. I actually heard that in my in my my headphones. And you heard it too. It's a miracle. Hey Jaunty. I will drink some water. Thank you. Well, I, I said command. I meant I meant not command. I meant uh, a quote. A quote. I just remember don't remember the the, the number. I know it's 400 something, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Orion might remember, but I don't know. Orion remembers. <laughs> Thank you, Orion. <laughs> Orion is like Orion remembers all of the the the, the quotes. <clears throat> well, not all of them, but the the, the important ones. It is nice to see you, though, Orion. But I understand if you want to lurk. Um, motivation to clean. Continue. Three, your sister sending you an SMS right uh, just now asking if you want a visit from her and your nephew tomorrow. Well, at least you have... Yeah, that will give you mo motivation. Because then you have to hurry and do it, you know? <laughs> it's so fast now? Yeah, that was fast, actually. You should take a little longer. I can respect the ding ding. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> um, you're just tired and you don't know if you're a bit unwell. I see, I see. Well, that is understandable. Just take take your time to to yourself and, and hopefully you will feel better, Ryan. I hope you feel better.
But it's to remind us that as much as we change, we are still a part of this world and we must all do our part to make it a wonderful place. But the world isn't inside anything. No, silly. What would it be inside of? I mean, it's inside of the, the universe, I guess. Hmm, exactly. Eh. Well, thank you for this little art lesson. Let's get going. You nod. You put the key in your pocket. The key in the pocket. Yeah, so we died last time. The, the farthest we've gotten is in this room here. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Just gotta see if you have anything you can make for dinner. Mm. Oh, wait. That's the room you died in because you didn't check for traps. There must be a switch or something somewhere that can stop the trap from activating. You didn't feel it last time, but you feel something. Something different in this room. This is a normal pillar, but carefully you look at the pillar. Oh, stars. Hidden unless you're looking at the right angle. And see a switch hidden be between the rocks. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, wait! Sifrin, I just remembered. This room, it's... You press the switch. Yeah, you could have told us that last time. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, the rock fell. And not in your head. Woohoo! So you can change things. You can fix things. You can keep going. You're feeling a lot more confident about this killing a monarch business. Well, that's good. We, we do need confidence. You give a thumbs up. Trap taken care of. I, I suppose it is. That was scary. Oh, before you forget, you should ask. Any more death corridors, Smira? Death corridor? Um, no. That's the only one. I promise. This hallway had a trap which Sifrin just activated. But I don't think there's any other other ones in the house. Good to know. Let's get going then. Oh, I'm still hesitant here. A pillar with no switches. See how far we can get this time. Oh, there are three this time. The sadness has got all mixed up. Oh no. Okay, so what they do is like they do uh rock, paper, scissors type of attack. So you see the one on the on the left. That's paper, and the one in the middle is scissor, and the, the one to the right is rock. But this is- this is a first. They've only fought one at a time, and these all have different... Different attacks. Maybe we should just have one... Regular attack for all of them, maybe? See what happens. So... Sifrin does... Scissor attack, so you can, you can... Damn. Uh... Deals paper damage to all enemies, three turn... Um... I, it, well, she can't. I thought she was supposed to eat. No, maybe I forgot. Okay. Damn, I thought that would be enough, but. No, wait. Let's see.
Okay, that was almost enough. Makes enemies tired and slower for a few turns. Triplets. Cute. They must be different somehow. If we can catch a difference, it might become easier to find their weakness. I should have had a Mira guard instead. I kind of forgot about it. Deals this damage to all enemies. That's that's what I want to do. You breathe in and out. A 510 experience received. Okay, so what if we can we use some Drink that heals 50% of a friend's HP. Makes you do a kissy face when you drink it because it's just, it's super sour. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to Mirabelle. I just want to explore a little bit before I decide where I want to go. Ah! It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. It's full of nothing. So it doesn't have anything in it. A row of spears. Why the need for an armory and weapons in the first place? Does the house often get attacked? Oh, not at all. Well, you know, except for right now. This is just one of the many classes the house gives. It's very popular with young adults. In a few weeks, you can learn how to make your very own weapon. It's not only in Dormont. Jovent's house gives smithing classes too. Most people put the weapon on their wall to look cool. It does look cool. My sister took a class like this. She made a massive hammer and tried to hang it to the wall in her room. And? Hammer too heavy. Wall broke. We had to share my room for weeks. How awful. That is pretty awful. Oh! Look! On the wall, there's a sword. The sword looks rapier-like. You wanna take it, Mira? Uh, you wanna take it, Mira? Hmm, taking things that don't belong to you is bad. Well, and killing someone isn't bad too. That's what we're here for, isn't it? But yes, I would like the sword. You got over that quickly. <laughs> you got the needle sword. You give the needle sword to Mirabelle to equip later. You found a weapon. Weapons and armors can be equipped by going through the menu and then to equip. The specific weapon is for your little housemaiden. Don't forget to equip it. Let's equip it. Have you imagined what colors they would have? Mm. The characters? I think... Uh, do you mean like hair color or 
clothes or what do you mean? Wait, no. Um Rapier made for battle and big stitches protected by sharpness. Hmm. But it seemed like it was already equipped though. Hmm. All or any? Uh, oh, we're having an ad starting now. I'm just gonna be in the menu while the ads are running. Um, well, I imagine Sifrin probably has like really light blonde hair. And probably... Blue or pur purple clothes, I think. Mirabelle, I feel like, has like a, a magenta type of color on her clothes. Isabel, I think, has brown hair. I don't know about the color of clothes, but I, I like black, obviously, because it's kind of there. And the lighter parts... Maybe they're red? Hmm. And Odile... I don't know. Maybe... Yellow? No. That's too bright. Maybe some sort of orange. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's uh something like that. Bonnie probably has I would probably say a red hat. And the clothes maybe orange as well <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know that's that's just that's just what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking but yeah the, the only one that i feel pretty sure about is sifrin i'm pretty sure that it's like really light blonde hair and I would say blue. Could be purple, like a bluish type of purple as well. Not entirely sure, but. That's what I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure someone probably has done some art. I don't know if there's any official art because I haven't looked up anything about this game. I haven't looked up anything, so I don't know. What about the star person? I don't really, I don't really remember. But I mean, I would obviously say yellow, like the the head, because it's supposed to be a star. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It sucks that you can't pick up whatever's in the barrels, though. Stool. There's only one, so it'll be rude to sit down. I guess that's true. But we're back. Okay. Um. Hmm. A big steel thing with a stone on it and an oven for weapons. Those things have a name, but you can't remember what it is. It's an anvil. And a forge. It's a forge, and that's an anvil. It's different. <laughs> I said it first. 
And the stone is a sharpening stone. I didn't say that part though. Oh yeah. Some vials. Let's see. We got one crafted water. You give it to Bonnie for safekeeping. An anvil, sharpening stone, and forge. That it is. That it is. Okay. I was trying to sneak past. Battle starts. What? That's rude. Yeah, this is paper, so... Make all friends faster for a few turns. Okay, let's try that. You snap your fingers. It deals paper damage to all enemies three turns. Hmm. Yeah, she's gonna heal. Give your turn to a friend. Boosting their attack and crit chance one turn. I think the, the turns will, will carry over to the next fight, so I'm just, you know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use this. Deals paper damage to one enemy two turns. That's what we're gonna do. Bonnie wax the enemy. <laughs> Turn to a friend boosting their attack and crit chance one turn. I know it's uh, no, it's not smart to do. You can just guard. Uh, it feels like such a waste though. Yeah, let's just do that. I mean, it's it's rock against rock, so you know, it's it's fine. It doesn't have a lot of health, so. You breathe in and out. 200 experience. Yeah, once I leave this room, it's... Wait, the door's locked. The symbol over the keyhole is shaped like an egg. <gasps> an egg? Okay, let's attack this one. It's a cone head. <laughs> uh... Wait, this one does both? Can I target different parts of the body then? Yeah, it seems so. Or I, it seems like I have to... Okay. Hmm. I'll give it to Isabeau then. Craft? Should we craft? Well, it's, I think it's considered two enemies, so we're just gonna do that. Yeah. Ow! Rude. Rock would be better here. 
Well, I mean... Damn. <gasps> oh! We almost got it. It's very weak. A slightly stronger blow would have done it. Well, if it's weak... Wanna deal the final blow, Bonnie? Can I? It is pretty weak, so... Sure. Knock yourself out. Well, try not to knock yourself out, but... The enemy, maybe. Okay, here I go. Yeah! You clap. Great job, Bonbon. Bon. You did good. What would we have done without you? <laughs> it's... If an enemy is close to death, your little kiddo might deal the final blow. Look at them. So proud. Like a little bird who flew for the first time. Nice. Well, it should be enough. You breathe in and out. 500? No, 450 experience. Nice. The gate is locked. Well, this one I expect it will be locked. I mean, me too. But I wanted to see if there's something specific we need to open it. Um... What does it bring us? Farther into the house? Yes. This is the only way to the second floor. No wonder the king would make sure we couldn't go in. I'm telling you, the king is scared of us. Maybe he is, but in the meantime, we should find a way to open this door. You look at, you look at the gate a little bit closer. Hmm. The keyhole is shaped like an egg, broken in half. So they all have egg-shaped keyholes, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, Zach. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. Okay. This one does scissor damage. Why do you always attack her? They all attack her for some reason. I don't know why. Um... Well, he does uh, rock damage, so I'm gonna give it to him. Well, that was definitely worth it. <laughs> 200 experience. Nice. Uh, I'll give that to... No, I don't need that much. Good. <laughs> Good. I guess you'll just have to live with that little health. Some vials. Let's see. We got two salty broths. I give them to Bonnie for safekeeping. Hello, hello, Stardust. Got your hand on some salty bro broths, didn't you? Drinking one in battle will lower all of someone's craft cooldowns by six, so they're very useful. Use them wisely. Bye, Stardust. Have fun. Don't get crushed by rocks. I will try my best. It's a barrel. It's a water. Some miles. Let's see. You got one crafted water. Give it to Bonnie for safekeeping. It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. It says on the side, do not shake. What will happen if I shake it? The cupboard is full of various board games. A craft game for kids, a fishing game, checkers. Checkers? We should play Team Checkers again. 
Sif and I will kick your butts. Hmm. I think I'll pass. The last time we played, Sifrin cheated the whole time and you didn't even notice. My obliviousness makes me a wonderful teammate. <laughs> uh, some cutlery and kitchen utensils. Is it cutlery? Yeah, dummy. Why do you have to ask? No, no, I'm asking Madame Odile. Is it cutlery you're studying? Cutler cutleryology? Cut cutleryology? <laughs> this is it, right? Did I get it wrong again, mister? I swear, your guesses are getting more and more eccentric. Who makes the research all about cutlery, of all things? Some people, I'm sure. Not me. Hmm. Oh well. I'll figure out- uh, I'll figure it out one day. Sure you will. You're also curious, but neither Isabel or you managed to find out what she's studying yet. A figurine of the change god. It's been destroyed. Oh god, it's been destroyed. Some books. One of them has a very striking cover of a Mudu clay figurine with large sunken eyes and a screaming mouth. Spooky. Okay, so there wasn't anything to- well, I mean, we did get a few things from the, ta the, the, the table. Oh! There's something over there. <gasps> what are those? Oh yeah! Some weird water? I've heard about it from people in Dormont. They call those tears. If you touch one, you'll be frozen in time. That's what they told me. There were a few outside the village, too. Tears, huh? There might be a lot of those around the house. You know that dying of natural causes will bring you back. But what about being frozen in time? Is it different? Would it stop you from looping back? Touch it? Should we touch it? <laughs> uh, it's like I'm very tempted to touch it just because I'm supposed to- I'm not supposed to. Because I'm not supposed to, I want to, you know? <laughs> and seeing as it's an option to do it, that means that it can't just be... I don't know if I can save. I don't- I can't save. Hey, Metalhead! F8. I wish that was possible here. <laughs> I wish that was possible here. Uh... I am tempted, but I'm also like, I don't want to start over. Live and learn. <laughs> Thank you for the redeem, Metalhead. Okay, you only live once, touch it. We, we, we're gonna touch it. You decide to touch the tear. You point away from the tear. Hey guys, what's that over there? Oh no. Huh? Are we being distracted? Yes. You step forward and bring your hand up to the tear. As you do, you feel a weird sensation in your stomach. And... A tear froze you in time. Okay, so we can't... So that's the way to start over. Wait. You see something appear before you. This is... Dormont? And the house? Can you decide where to loop back? <gasps> I can decide where to loop back! Loop back to floor one? Hold on. You can see the village of Dormont. Something's keeping you from getting there right now. It's me. <laughs> Don't worry, I promise you'll get to loop back to Dormont at some point. But it's tutorial time now. You have no choice. <sighs> okay, well I didn't want to go back there anyway because it's that would have been too much. The star entity probably gonna have some words for you doing that, yeah. 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 Okay, so we don't have to go too far back then. Oh, you're back. 
for a second you were genuinely worried you weren't going to loop back and stay frozen in time forever. Being frozen in time felt like sleeping. So tears freeze you in time. And being frozen in time makes you loop back. Seems like a pretty painless way to loop back whenever you please. Ah, oh, I see. A storage room. Let's look around. See if your tonics on the table. Tables. Make sure to pick them up and give them to Bonnie before we leave. Check that closet too. There might be some cool stuff in there. Yeah, we've done this before a couple of times. Yeah, we don't we don't have to we don't have to read all the dialogue because we've done this twice already. Hmm. I actually don't remember how I was supposed to be able to fast forward. Oh, that that's how. I see. You open the closet. It's full. Of, yeah. We got the bell pendant. Ding ding. We got the ding ding. Some flyers. They say, how's the change open? Come and see what you can do for the community and what the community can do for you. There's some people with sparkly eyes holding hands drawn on it. Heh. I drew those a few years ago and to get people to come to the house. It's a little embarrassing now. You think they look nice? Some small glass containers. You look around. You found sour tonic. You learn fast, friend. Be careful with those eyes. Yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. Huh. Yeah, we have already learned about that. You close your you close your mouth. <laughs> Oh, damn. A quote you definitely didn't hear. Everyone was healed. Your friend's craft skills and these da 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 No, we don't have to do that. I mean, maybe. Just in case, you know? <laughs> but a quote you definitely didn't hear. Look around the pillar. Oh, wait! Yeah, 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 yeah. This room, it's... Press the switch. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, everyone. Not even face, huh? So cool, Sif. Yeah, we we we've do, we've done it before, okay? Ah, Jesus Christ! This is a paper one. Okay. No, wait. I didn't mean to. I meant to use craft. get it uh, how we can get to skip things if always the same even if it feels like mm. yeah I I feel like from what I heard from from reading some some um, reviews it could be very repetitive this game so I kind of wanted to just not have to to go through all the dialogue over and over again. Unless it's like something important, you know, like the the the, the tonics and stuff, picking up loot, the the replies there, I don't feel like that's necessary. The sadness has got all mixed up.
Let's do scissor damage to all of them. Damn, that's rude. Ow! What? How can you do d t two damage? That's not fair. Yeah, let's deal rock damage to all of them. Paper damage. Nice. Uh, I feel like that should be. I mean, maybe it's enough. I don't know. Yeah. Bonnie missed. <gasps> Bonnie, no. It should be enough. You breathe in and out. So you found a store in town called the Chocolate Cafe. It's every bit as great as it sounds. Your life is over. Was was the, the, the chocolate good? Oh, uh... uh... <laughs> Again. Hello, Veld. How you doing? Let's see if it's anything new now. Hmm. Okay, that was nothing. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna spend too much time here then. Yes, and it has cats, like actual IRL cafe cats. Is a is it a cat cafe? Although it's been a minute, it has. I hope you're doing well though. The tear stands in the way. Okay, you learned you're smart now. You ignore everyone's confused looks at the tear and keep walking. The door is locked tight. The lock, uh, keeping it closed, has an interesting shape. It doesn't have a hole for a, hole for a key. You look at it cautiously, uh, curiously, I mean. Isabel sees you look. Have you never seen a lock like this before, Siv? It's a special kind of Vogardian lock. Instead of a key, it needs specific words to open. Words? Yes, you just need to say the words aloud. I think they call it um, an open phrase. An open phrase. Fascinating. So what is the phrase for this lock? I, uh, do not know. Ah. So it's locked. Yes. Yahoo! What's this room, though? I think it may be a storage room. I often saw Dormon's shopkeeper go there. He might know the open phrase for it. Ah, oh, so we do have a reason to go back to Dormont then. If we, uh, had remembered to ask. Oh! Well, too late now, right? Mm, I don't know about that. Hmm. Say change. <laughs> change. <laughs> you say the word change aloud. Nothing happens. Worth a try. I mean, yeah. A cat cafe specializing in chocolate. Nice. Dude, that's rude. You've been better, but all in all, not too bad. You hate searching for a job, but what are you gonna do? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a good time. But you'll get it. You'll get a job soon enough. I hope. Hmm. Yeah, let's give it to Isabeau again. Yeah, let's do that. Nice.
Let's do that as well. Rude. Bonnie missed. Bonnie, no. Uh, rock. Hmm. We took a few, a few hits there. You have another interview next Monday. Hopefully it will be something good so you can finally quit the ever-growing mess that is your current job. I hope so too. I hope you do. Uh... What is this? That sure is a pillar. That sure is a pillar. I'm definitely not looking around me and I'm admiring the view instead. So tell me if I'm about to run into something dangerous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep Isabel from running into the life ending tears. Huh? Huh? What? W what? What is it? Is it the water? Should I not touch the weird floating water? The same weird water as before. Oh, wait, I've heard about those. The villagers at Dormont call them tears, and if you touch them, you get frozen in time. Oh, right, they haven't talked about it before. Wait, so I almost died? Maybe you should pay more attention, distracted one. I'm keeping my eyes open for all the threats, uh, for all threats except the ones in front of me. We should be more careful. We wouldn't want to touch those. Also, also. I also heard that being frozen makes you go to sleep and gives you a super a super good dream. Oh? 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 Oh. Did you hear this from the people in Dormont too? Uh, um, um, a, a nice lady told me that when she heard my sister got frozen. Oh. 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 I, I know it's not true. I'm not stupid. Just, it will be nice. If that was true. So. So you should touch the weird frozen water and be frozen and let me know how it goes. Mm, I've already tried that. Pass. Well, we might still need to go this way, so. We should look around and f find if there's a way to make those disappear. That's a good, good, good idea. That's a good idea. Uh, you see a new game that you haven't seen before. You weren't really interested in Baldur's Gate, but maybe you can get down with this. <laughs> yeah, I, I I know. I know that you weren't interested in Baldur's Gate, but this is, uh, this is very different, though. <gasps> a sadness? Oh, poor buddy lost its friends. Whoa, this one feels weird. Boniface. It may look different, but it's still a sadness, like all the, the ones we've seen before. Still feels weird. I believe the preteen, when it comes to the sadness, weirdness, madame. Let's get the weird sadness then. Nostalgia. I see, I see. Uh, can I examine? Or is it just Odile that can examine? No, I think only Odile can. Mm. Because I don't know what this one is weak against. But yeah, this game I have played... The, this is the third stream I'm playing this. I've been playing it on... Well, the last time I played it was Tuesday two weeks ago. And then I played it on Saturday that same... Like, the week before that. Um, so this is like my, my Tuesday game. I was supposed to play it last week as well, but I, I had to cancel stream. Um, but thank you, Ryan. Let's try to see if it's weak against scissor attack. It said weak against that? It did so little damage, though. Hmm. 
interesting. Okay, you're gonna guard. Because he had... I thought I healed him, though. Let's see if... Um... Well, we can try to do other attacks, too, and see how well that goes. Okay. So definitely not rock. Damn. Teach their own, you only complain about the game being played in in Grady's chat. Well, I mean, you have made it pretty clear as well that you don't like it uh, here as well. I mean, it's like, it, it's not a... It's not a big of a secret as you might think. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rock didn't do much. What should I... Oh, we can try doing that again. This one is a little bit tougher than the others. How do I do the, 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 the fancy attack? I forgot what it was called. You know, it's not a secret, but you won't sit in and chat and complain about it all the time. It won't be the first time that Grady times you out when you say that he should be the... He should be playing the coin game. Wait, what is the coin game? I, I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to... They mention it the first time. But I don't know how I'm supposed to use the... what it was called. The coin game is a janky ticket arcane arcade game simulator. Mm, I see, I see. The sadness left something behind when it dissolved. We got the star crest. It has a teardrop engraved on it. You put the star crest in your pocket. Crest? It feels weird too. Like the tears we just saw. Okay. Hmm. What now? Sears is here too. <laughs> Maybe this crest can help us clear the way. Yeah, that was what I was thinking too. Hey, Tushta. The super duper combo wombo friendship punch attack? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what it was called. But I opened the other window so you guys could jump through that when I had to close the curtains. You don't have to jump through that window. There's a crack in the wall. A pillar. That sure is a broken pillar. A hole in the wall. 
coal doesn't really bring you anywhere. But maybe there was something secret hidden in there, you know? Ow. Ah, oh, these assholes, but... I'm getting... They're so annoying. Sure. Rude. Rude! See, this is why I don't like them. <laughs> Let's do that. We brought them back to life. Saw cute animal stickers the other day. Went at the grocery store. Oh, I see, I see. What, 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 what was this, the stickers of? Sure, let's do that. Just do that attack. Ah, that should be enough. A fox bear and a few others. Actually, my oh, you 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 bought some. I see, I see. You breathe in and out. Five hundred and ten. I need to find a save spot. The tear floats gently. Okay, this might be stupid, but what if you use the star crest you just got on those tears and see if it does something? There's a teardrop engraved on that star crest after all. And if it doesn't work, well, yeah, you'll look stupid, but you can always look back and not look stupid. Use the star crest. Free path time, yeah. Use the star crest. We did it! It worked! Bye bye, tears. Phew. Can I. Can I. Is that a. S Ow. You hit your hip into the counter and made an embarrassing sound. Oh? Sifrin. Did you really hit the counter and say, nya? <laughs> you did. No? Okay, nya. Madame? <laughs> That's funny. A kitchen closet. You open it. You found the egg key. <gasps> you put the key in your pocket. You now know where the egg key is located. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like an egg. Does it mean something? That's an egg. An egg? Bonnie's making grabby hands. You give Bonnie the key. Ah, so the next key should be a broken egg, right? Are eggs important to the change belief somehow? Yes! An intact egg and a broken egg. We, uh... We're the egg, getting out of the egg, change also means destruction, blah blah blah. Well, um... Yes, pretty much. Can't make pancakes without breaking a few eggs. It's omelets, bonbon. You're an omelet, Zaw. A terrifying rebuttal from the preteen. And, and... For every change, something needs to break. Maybe changing yourself will hurt someone. Maybe changing means leaving a part of yourself behind. That is true. That is true. It's to remind us that before changing, we must stop and think about what will be irreparably destroyed. But destruction is just a part of change, and we must accept it. Yeah. 
It'll be awful to keep yourself from becoming a person you feel comfortable with just because it would upset someone else. That's very true. That is very true. Huh. That's a harsher belief than I thought. Bonnie's still looking at the egg keychain. Chomp. <laughs> Bonnie tried to take a bite of the keychain. Chomp chomp. It's carved out of stone, Bonnie face. Maybe the keychain had a secret, madame. Uh-huh. Stupid crabbing rock. Bonnie gives you back the key. It's sticky. Eh. Is this by the same debt? No, it's not. Mm. It was cute and don't use stickers, but you got it anyways. <laughs> I feel that. I do that too sometimes. No, that's uh, the... Toby Fox is just working on, on a Deltarune. A pot filled with bubbling food, frozen in time. Steam. The steam is frozen in mid-air. So, what's inside? Ah, looks like they were cooking crab. What? Crab? W what's happening? Someone was cooking crab? In a house of change of all places? Food tasted like crab. But literally... Yeah, they use crab as like a curse word here. So I that that now I want to maybe we will find out why now. Why would someone do this? I um Odile looks at you with question marks in her eyes. But crab is so tasty. You shrug. I am very confused. Is this a Vogardian thing? Please don't tell me you eat crabs and cob boo and uh, I don't think I could handle it. No, not really, but we don't have such an aversion to them. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Is it... Is this like dolphins? What about them? In Kabu, or Kabu, I don't know. We don't like dolphins. Something about them being too smart. Are crabs smart? No, they're stupid and don't even talk right. Uh, do don't even walk right. <laughs> Crabs just look weird, I think. I've never actually thought about it. I thought it was like spiders. Every human thinks spiders look scary. <laughs> Zal's afraid of spiders. N no, I'm a big strong man. So crabs are weird and don't walk right, okay. And uh, they're inevitable. Wait, are crabs inevitable? Uh-huh. I still don't understand anything. You also still don't understand anything. <laughs> Vogard is weird. It is kind of weird, yeah. Sly Cooper animal, you forgot. Sly Cooper is, is a raccoon, isn't he? This game, you should listen more. <laughs> You're just confused about crap. <laughs> Laundry folding done took near one and a half hours. Damn, that's a lot. Crab are inevitable. Apparently, nature evolved crabs on five separate occasions. Mm. It was a crab, always has been. Mm. Cookies. They're frozen in time. A sink and some kitchen utensils. <gasps> Here! W what? What is it? Walk! Bonnie points to a big, thin cooking pot. Walk. Walk. Yes, that's... A walk. <gasps> walk! You got the walk. You give the walk to Bonnie to cook later. <gasps> can 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 Bonnie cook? There's nothing more to be found. It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. A flyer for the Dormont Boulangerie. Boulangerie. Dormont's Mignon Boulangerie. Bread 20% off every Saturday. Because we loaf you almost as much as you loaf our bread. Hmm. Ugh. Bad. <laughs> hey, Sif. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> I bet they, the two of them thought it was funny. <laughs> Bo and Sif. <laughs> hey, Sif. You look at Isabeau. Considering how much bread we bought from them for dinner yesterday. 
Let's go. Loving us is the yeast they could do. <laughs> See? I s <laughs> See, Sif is, is very relatable. Loving us is the yeast they could do. <laughs> no. No. Not allowed. <laughs> yes. Teamwork. Team to work. See? This is why I chose the right person. I chose the right person. They had the best chemistry. Yay. Hold on. Some vials. Let's see. You got one super sour tonic. You give them to Bonnie for safekeeping. Uh, you fold all your t-shirts and football jerseys today. Pull them all out of the closet with the intention of getting rid of a bunch of them. Put back all but maybe three. It's hard to get rid of clothes that you like because it's like... Maybe I'll use it again? Bonnie smacks Sanis with pan. Mm. Let's call it that. Sandwich shop. Mm. Oh, Ryan, did you see what I tagged you in, in in the Discord? Because there's gonna be an a like they, they're gonna make an anime um, of a manga that I really enjoy. And apparently the creator of the Owl House was in, took a lot of inspiration from that manga. And I tied you in it because uh, I figured you know, maybe you would think that would cool, was cool. And I'm really looking forward to that anime. Condiments and spices. Oh, and you got one pepper juice. You got one ginger juice. We got one thyme juice. You give them all to Bonnie for safekeeping. Nothing. Oh, damn. Uh, at least pulling them all out of the closet. Wait, closet made you aware of all the ones you haven't worn in a long time, so time to wear them. Mm. Gonna be. <laughs> no. There's too many notifications. Wait, but it's like it's a tied one. Don't you don't have the the the, the thing muted? It's a pile of plates. So tall. Why is it so tall? Well, it's just how the houses uh, houses cook likes it. We always used to say, if we stack plates super high, then the meals we put on it are sure to reach divine status. You go ooh along with Isabeau. Ugh, why not, right? How's the food? Room for improvement. For our kind, gentle Mirabelle to say this, <laughs> food tasted like crab. Yeah. Yeah. Remember I said it, it's the anime and, and manga channel. It's the last post, I think, because I don't think anyone has posted anything since then. Um, There's like 30 red ones because it's been so long. Oh no, I see, I see. I see. Well, that's okay. We, we need to heal. I think this should be... Well, Odile doesn't really need anything, but... Still worth it. We're just gonna reach the door with the the egg. The egg door. Because now we can open it. Ah, fuck. Well, I mean, we almost got it. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna give... No, I'm gonna give that turn to... Isabeau again. Because they have opposites, so... It's always... Best that way. Oh, damn. Ow. Oh, yeah, you can use that. Nice. Key time! You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Dude, I'm trying to find a place to save or something so I can heal up. Ah, fuck. Okay, it's good that you attack the one that is strong against whatever you do. <laughs> Knife to meet you. I love when they have puns. <laughs> God damn it. You know what? Actually, we can use a uh, super sour tonic again. Yeah, I just want to find uh, a save point so I can heal fully. It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. You open the closet, there's a pair of glasses inside a transparent case. Unlike the case, the glasses are completely op uh, opaque. Glasses you can't even see out of. Absolutely useless. Are we gonna take them? Hmm. Yes, I'll take them. Got the... <laughs> Wait, I wonder what uh, what that does. Makes you look super intimidating, but at what cost? Boosts attack and crit chance, but lowers defense. Mm, I, you know, I'm gonna stick with what I have then. Some books on the House of Change. And an, uh, and a book. They, they have, they, they, they have not written correctly here. The grammar is not grammaring. And a book from this year, The Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue 51. <laughs> Let's see. A tiny bed. Shane! Is this a new room? It is a new room. How you doing, Shane? A chair. Some sort of candle making station. I have no idea what this smells like. Apples and cinnamon. Pie smell? Pie smell. Pie smell! Instructions on how to craft candles. Unlike normal candles, it seems crafted candles last longer and can change smells as time goes by. Interesting. A tidy bed. There's bits of wax stuck to the covers. That's nasty. A craftonomy book. Oh, is this a craftology book? Piercing craft, creative craft. Where's the protecting craft chap? It's a craftonomy book, not a craftology book. This one is about the study of craft, not your fortune. Uh, oh, I wanted to know in my horoscope today. <laughs> this place has been frozen for a few months now. I don't think it'll be up to date. Uh, you really like that sort of stuff, don't you, Isabeau? Yes, I do. It's absolutely useless and has no ba uh, basis in reality. But I like it when some letters tell me I'm gonna have a good day. You're protector craft, aren't you, Isabeau? People who use it are patient, honest, loyal, and very gullible. That sure is me. 
Maybe Isabel was me. <laughs> you're very gullible. Bonnie, you're laughing, but aren't you also using protector craft? No. Yes, I do seem to remember this being the case, kiddo. No. It's not the same. I'm not gullible. Eh. <laughs> You like being able to be near them and not have to contribute to the conversation. Being silent and surrounded by people you like is nice. That's true. That is very true. We're getting an ad starting now, and I'm gonna take a short break because I'm taking a break yet. Uh, I'll be, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, okay. See you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit.
Hello, we're back. <laughs> yeah, I thought that the alerts were like a separate sound. I didn't think it was... I need to fix that so that the alerts are its own thing. Because I didn't want to have the sound of the, the, the game in the background, but then it's, it's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out. But thank you, thank you. Uh, some vials. Let's see. You got two sour tonics. Oh, yeah, I do need those. Do I have a mix or something? Need to... <laughs> thank you for the follow. Wait. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Also, welcome in, Fungal Network. Hydrating the streamers one at a time. Mm. It's important. And also, guys, you should also hydrate. You know, even though the, the you know, it's aimed at me, that doesn't mean you guys shouldn't do it too. 
A technical testing in process. But thank you so much for the bits, Ryan. I appreciate it. Uh, I do have a mixer. I mean, like, I'm just talking about the mixer in in uh, OBS. I'm not talking about my physical mixer. Because I don't, I don't really do much with that volume-wise. Um, but... <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I should. It's just it's just so much work. <laughs> it's just so much work. Uh, but you need to set up something so you can play DMCA music without getting into trouble. I that's pretty easy though. You don't have to have a mixture for that. You can just do that in OBS. Um there are a lot of tutorials how to do it and it's very very easy. I just haven't done it myself because I don't want my VODs to be completely silent. So I'd rather just play music that is uh, safe to use. Because as soon as you remove the sound, it's just going to be quiet in the background. Um, you're piercing craft, determined, brave, honest. You know what? Maybe, so. yeah, Sifrin is the. Like, Sifrin is, is, is very relatable. <laughs> Or so people say. <gasps> More stuff. A nice, comfy looking bed. Some notes. The handwriting is so terrible, you can barely read what's on it. Hmm. You'll get more water, just drank the, drank the last ones. Mm. It's smart. It is smart. Let's talk to old nipple face. He does not have pasties, by the way. <laughs> if people have if people have played Blasphemous, they probably know exactly who we're talking about in, in that quote. You tried to set it up but haven't gotten it to work yet. You don't find it easy, at least, especially when tutorials out there are using outdated programs. Oh, I see. I mean, I haven't done it myself. I've just seen that it's... I've just looked at it. And it seemed pretty straightforward, but if it's outdated, then I then I don't know. They seem to be various newspaper articles about the king. Some rolled up papers. You unroll one. It's a bunch of sketches of landscapes. Hmm. Oh my. The paper is filled with sketches of naked people doing fun things. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what fun things? <laughs> you look at them curiously. Oh, oh my! Uh, neat. Show me. I can. I can't see what it is. But you're a child, so you shouldn't. Oh no! 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 Mirabel hurriedly covers Bonnie's eyes and makes them take two steps back. But I want to see. No! 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 It's not allowed. You're not allowed. Yeah, it's not for little ones, Bonnie Face. Yep. Can't let you do that, Bon Bon. Meh. Bonnie's looking straight at you. A friend. Can I look? Well. No, definitely not. Oh. Oh! So it's really not allowed. Why did it take Sifrin saying it for you to realize? A friend lets me do things when you guys say no sometimes. But if even friend says it's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> then it must be something really not allowed. So I won't look. All good? Sifrin? What the crap did you let Bonnie do when we said no? Uh-oh. He let me drink some vodka once. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, huh? What? Sifrin? Uh-oh. I don't really get why Odile likes it though. It tasted just like boring water. Um. <laughs> see, see, you know, I, I, Sifrin, my, my dude. Yeah, I, 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 he's giving, giving energy that I can vibe with. <laughs> uh. Sorry. That sounds like an amazing practical joke to play on a kid, actually. It was. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Are you allowed? I don't know, Orion. Are you allowed? <laughs> Hold on. You only have favorites, but you probably know how I'm... How you mean it, but you don't know you think Isabeau is kind of super cool. My favorites are definitely Isabeau and, and, and Sifrin. I like both of them. And the, the, the two of them together is, is the best. <laughs> Pace, did you still remember once when you were just hungry and it escalated into something? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that too. Or a pasties, as, as, the, the, the <laughs> we're not, we're not gonna go down that road again. Um. <laughs> what act are you in right now? You have know, guess based on Sif's reaction to the paper, but you're not sure. Um, well, I, I, one, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is super early in the game. I think when stream started, the menu said Act One. Yeah, I think I think it's it's Act One. Sifrin, that's the worst spelling of Seraphine yet. You 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 wish you were Sifrin. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was pretty early, but wasn't sure exactly how early. Yeah, we've died twice. We have died twice. Mm. If you're at this point, it's definitely Act Two at least. Oh, I see. The game said earlier it's still tutorial time. Hmm. Act one happens when the boulder appears for the first time. Or the, the, oh. Okay, then it is probably act two. I don't, I don't know how the acts work in this game. <laughs> uh, the boulder has happened and some tears got touched. Yeah, yeah, we touched some tears. Always in Act 1, always. Yeah, yeah, of course I am. Of course I am. Is this a Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 3 reference? Yes, yes it is. Yeah, I spent so long in Act 1 that it became a joke that I just never left Act 1. Even in Act 3. Closet half hazardly filled with art notebooks and art supplies. And, um, oh, there's a crump crumpled pile of hand drawn cards. Pick one? Yes. You pick a card at random. This card has a drawing of a hand holding a piece of wood. The bottom says Ace of Wands. <gasps> it's a tarot card. You got the drawn card. You put the card in your pocket along with your souvenirs. A dresser with art books on top of it. You open the drawer. We found the broken egg key. <gasps> we found the broken egg key. Keychain dangling from it is shaped like an egg broken in half. You put the key in your pocket. You now know where the broken egg key is located. Sounds like keys will be in your future, huh? You should probably try to remember their location just in case. You got a memory of keys. You will always remember this. When equipped, memory of keys help you remember where keys are. We're looking at it. Locked door, you'll get a sense of where its key is. If you already found the key in a previous loop, you'll get directions as to where to go. Pretty useful if you're the forgetting type, huh? I don't think I'm gonna use it. In someone's drawer? What a weird place for a key. I mean, is it really? Is it pretty common? It's only a death to a boulder and tears. Uh, act 2 confirmed then. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm I don't know anything about this game, so I, I can't really tell you about the mechanics or like how how things like how progression works in this game is very new to me. <laughs> so I don't I don't know any of that. Definitely not a weird king like place, huh? Pretty stupid of him. I'm not sure. Hiding keys in places like drawers isn't very king-like, yeah, but it means they're harder to find since it's not a very expected place. But thankfully, we have good uh, our good old Sif to help us find them. Thank you, Sifrin. Good job, Sifrin. Hey, good job. She claps sarcastically, which makes everyone join her enthusiastically. You take a bow. A bed. The bed itself doesn't seem very comfy, but that pillow... Why does that pillow look so comfy? It has a strange shape, though, doesn't it? That's... Wait, that's not a pillow! That's a hat! Just like mine! 
What? You got the pillow hat. You give the pillow hat to Bonnie to cook later. Hmm. Interesting. Let's have a look. Have, let's, have, let's have a look. Hat so heavy it has to make you stronger and boosts attack. Both a pillow and a hat boosts attack. Wait, so they both boost attack? Wait, hold on. Oh. Yeah, it is better, for sure. It is it is better. Um You can't leave Act 1 without recruiting Karlak. Uh, but this was in my first playthrough. Sarah. <laughs> and I had a recruited Karlak. It wasn't a reference to Act... No, the, the, my, my second playthrough. <laughs> you play BG3 almost all day today and soon it's Act 2 over and it makes you sad and anxious. Mm. Yeah, Act 3 is very overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, you just play this game an absurd amount of time, so it's ingrained in itself into your brain. Mm. Yeah, I, I I have actually not heard too much about it. I've just seen the that the reviews are really, really good. So I figured And it does remind me of two of my favorite games, which are both Undertale and Amori. I have plenty of other favorite games too, but like the two of my favorite games that are the most similar. Um, so I figured, you know, this seems like it would be uh, my thing. <laughs> you have the act endings all memorized. Oh, I see, I see, I see. You still have the temple and then the stuff after that left. Mm. I want to know what fantastic triple A... Tri triple A... Triple... Triple triple A? Triple triple play. Blockbuster game you played all day. <laughs> Dark Souls. You wish it was actually Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that 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 quote did, did not seem like it would be good. Um Just, it makes sense. <laughs> Literally the only bad review of In Stars and Time you've ever heard is the notorious cookie clicker one. Cookie clicker one? I mean, I know of cookie clicker, but I don't... The only bad review that I saw was people thinking that it was very repetitive. But that's it, really. Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> I just want to open the door before I m might die, you know? In case there's a saving point. Okay, fine. There is the clip itself. Mm. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> okay. As long as it doesn't contain spoilers. Yeah, of course, as long as it doesn't contain spoilers, you can share it all, all you want. Sure. Rude! Why do you target one out of just one? Yeah, you need to heal uh, her then. No spoilers for Car Mechanic Simulator either, by the way. Mm. <laughs> I mean, don't they have spoilers? The the cars themselves, I mean. Yeah. 
You know, no, I can't. Oh, wait. Oh, so this. She doesn't. She's not able to give her turn to someone else. Well, let's go with the paper then. Could be enough? I don't know. Let's see. Oh wait, it was. Ye oh, God damn it. Yeah, do it! Yes. Nice. <laughs> we can save here now! That light again. Stardust. Listen, listen. I forgot to explain something. As you know, you can save your progress here. But there's two things you might not know about recording your progress. Number one, those stars are all linked to a spot you can loop back to. So right now, you can loop back uh, you can loop back to Dormont and to the first floor of the house. Number two, remember how you'll keep your experience and craft skills no matter what. But your party's progress is reset every time you loop. So, to make it easier for you, Every time you save your progress, your party's craft skills and experience will be saved for this specific spot as well. So, your fighter is level 45 now, and when you'll record your progress in a second, you will be level 45 again if you loop back here. And don't worry, if, for example, you had him recorded at level 52 before, then he only gets to level 46 next time you save your progress here. This level will still be recorded at 52. No going back. Ah, oh, he will stay strong. It's the same for the number of tonics and other battle items you're holding on, uh, holding too. All right, that's it for me, Stardust. Goodbye. Hmm. So if you save your progress here, your friends' experience and skills will be recorded here as well. So if you look back here, you won't have to keep fighting so they can be stronger. Okay. You reach towards the light. Everyone was healed. Your friend's craft skills and experience has been recorded for this location. Save your progress? Yes. You close your eyes. And we... Save. And do you have something against goats? <laughs> Sheep is forever. So you can't find that review itself, but you found the screenshot the dev herself posted on Tumblr. Do links work here? Some chats span the um, I think it should be okay. But mainly because Goat Sim doesn't seem like a game to you. That is the overall goal. Does it have any prog progress or goals or a point to it at all? Hmm. Oh. Wait, maybe it doesn't work after all. Um, but I think, I think there's a command, just permit, um, I thought it was allowed though, I haven't made any changes, maybe there's some Twitch changes, I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, let's go for this. Damn. Oh! Oh. What? That's rude. No. But let's, uh... Let's do that. Uh, you actually have tried the goat. You have tried Goat Simulator once because you think it was free on PlayStation Plus. You can't really say if there is progress like that, but you think the point was more like to have, to just not have progress. <laughs> there was a mini goals like what you could do if you did certain things. Hmm. See how? D oh yeah. I mean, you feel free to join if you want to. Um. I don't remember the command. If you 
allow someone to post a link. I think it's just... Exclamation point... Permit or something? I don't know. And then the name? But I'm not entirely sure. But at least it doesn't purge anyone from my chat when people post links. Um... Join the servers and screenshot in, in, in memes. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Sifrin is now on level 46. Let's just do that to heal up. Nah, we don't need to, to, to save. Yeah, I think you just do exclamation point permit and then... You just add the person who can post the link. But I, this is just a, a guess. I don't remember how it works. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Well, I've learned from, from before. <gasps> a sadness. It seems to be guarding the rest of the house from us. I feel strong. Stronger than those we've seen so far. Get ready, everyone. I bet that this is something that's gonna kill us, but it's like intentionally gonna kill us. Big ball head. Big ball head. <laughs> Wait, something's happening. Oh, it changes... Uh, weaknesses each turn, maybe? Something appeared for a second on the big ball head. That was a scissor sign? Does it mean something? We can probably assume that it's current craft type. Uh, if you need help, Sifrin, let me know and I'll analyze this enemy. Okay, let me- no, let me just, um... Let's do examine. It showed a scissor symbol. So it's scissor type now. I'm not sure paper and scissor attacks will work. Rock attack it is. This might be a good opportunity to build up jackpot points, everyone. Let's use the same craft type five times in a row. I'll do rock. Yeah, she can't do anything. Boost all friends that die. Sure, we can do that. Um, the sun has changed the craft type. Super duper wombo combo friendship jackpot punch attack. Yeah, the jackpot, the chat, the, the jackpot, the, the jackpot attack. <laughs> that what we got reminded of the, the the word that I didn't remember. A 
I mean, maybe we should do that then. Hmm. Let's try to do that because I haven't tried doing the jackpot thing yet. So even though it showed rock... <sighs> That's so annoying though. fun game trivia about the code, not the story. Bonnie missing is coded as its own separate attack that gets chosen at random rather than having a separate miss chance since there's no miss system anywhere else. Oh, I see, I see. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I was like, ah, this this sucks that it's gonna be immune though, but... Well, I actually didn't know it would be immune. I just assumed that it would have resistance to it. I really want to see what happens when I do that. Um... Sure. <laughs> um... Yeah, guard again. We're close to getting it, though, so, you know. There we go. Oh. Do a jackpot attack for the first time? Yeah, it, just too bad it didn't do anything. <laughs> I just wanted to see how it works. Now we can do actual damage. And it also healed us as well. I forgot that it was supposed to do that. Yeah, because I don't know if she can do anything now. Oh, deal, I mean. Oh! Now everyone can do something. Well, I mean, not, uh... Not bow. Nice. 
doing damage now. Sure. Ooh, that was a crit. Yes. Now we finally got one that actually does some damage. <laughs> uh. Wait, it didn't change, did it? It showed a paper symbol, yeah. Just use slow. <laughs> it keeps coming back. <laughs> oh, that was that was um Yeah, that was a day. That was a day. Yeah, you can guard. use the regular one. It didn't do a lot though, but... Sure. I don't really know what making them faster will do, honestly. In turn-based combat, how do you get faster? <laughs> like, what does that actually do? <laughs> I know the game said at some point, but I, I already forgot. I think she should have... Sister attack now, but I'm I'm not entirely sure. Yes, okay, good. Nice. This is going well. The sound has changed its craft type. You can't see anything. Looks like you'll have to figure it out uh, out its type based on how it attacks. Oh, we got a we got we got a buff. I have a really loud neighbor, or the neighbor has a really loud car. And it pisses me off. Deals rock damage. We can try to see if it's rock. Okay, it's rock. <laughs> it's it's rock. That's good. Was there an option to review what the stuff mean in game? Maybe, <laughs> but nothing that I can access while I'm uh, in combat, I don't think. It sounded a bit odd, yeah. It's like you can you can turn off the the engine and like you can you can you can, you can stop now. It's like you you already parked. What are you waiting for? There we go.
Hmm. You saw the engine. <laughs> oh, damn. She did a crit. Or they, I mean. I'm sorry. Uh. But I want to skip your turn. Well, you can heal. Okay, that's good. I want to get the... Um... I want to get the, 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 the jackpot attack. <laughs> I mean, it should be enough now, anyway. There we go. You breathe in and out. 6,000 experience! Mirabel is now level 46. Isabel is... And learn the craft skill so weak. Odile is now level 46. Mm. Nice. We did it! Victory! Alright, let's keep moving. Isabeau just learned a new skill. <laughs> I've gotten stronger. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You got the memory of so weak. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your fighter will be able to use so weak as a skill, even if he isn't at level 46. So weak is a skill that lowers one enemy's attack. Okay, let's have a look. Memory of Isabel. Plus five to all stats. Hmm. I mean, we can give it a try. I want to save. <laughs> oh, something is keeping you from going back. There's no turning back now. You have to press onwards. Okay. Yeah, I guess that would have been too easy, wouldn't it? Crash into your crush with bicycle for maximum effect. <laughs> yeah. Nice first try. Thank you. Thank you. Why is it so quiet? It hasn't been this quiet before. Game, why are you quiet? This room feels different than the others, doesn't it? It's missing the threatening pressure the rest of the house has. Shall we take a little break then? No. We should keep going, and... She's hungry. What was that? Uh, I think I'm hungry. <laughs> My time. My time. My time to be the leader. Oh, they can bring out the walk. Why? Because it's snacks time, baby. Snacks are important to keep hunger away and keep morale up. I learned that because I'm a growing kid. That sure is true. B but do we have time to... Mira. Let's take a break, alright? Even people blessed by the change god like you need to take a break sometimes. Alright. You guys stay here. I'll get some snacks ready. Okay, snack leader. Oh, I remember something. There's a bow. Heads or tails? Huh? Um... Tails. Odile takes a coin from her pocket and flips it in the air. Flip, flip, flip. Flip. It fell on Tails. Huh. I lost. Yay! What do I win? <laughs> the sweet taste of victory and nothing else. I don't even get congrats. Wow, madame. I thought we were friends. We're not friends. We're associates. 
not companions? Colleagues. Allies, at best. Not even soulmates? Not even soulmates? <laughs> As if, like, that was, like, the bare minimum. <laughs> Can't believe you've gone down to being an acquaintance now. No! What was the coin flip about, madame? Ah, well. Ask the favor tree to make me win uh, my next coin flip. Huh? Such a silly favor. Purely for scientific reasons. I was wondering whether this favor tree business had any truth to it. As we can see, it doesn't. Oh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> uh. But Madame Odile didn't put any thought or hope into her favor, so why would it come true, right? If you want something to come true, it definitely will. You think so? Absolutely. That's right. Bonnie probably wished for their sister to be okay, didn't they? <gasps> okay, who wants snacks? I have snacks. Today, I have many snacks at your disposal. I have. Some plantain chips. Oh, did you use the last of those not banana to, uh, bananas to make them? Yes. Yes, I did. Crunchy. Delicious. And full of potassium. That's plantain chips. You all clap. Second snack is. Some boring but delicious cookies. Cookies are never boring, okay? Cookies! Great sales pitch, Bonbon. Bon. Boring but delicious. Cookies, the taste of home. What kind of home is boring but delicious? Zah, you're weird. And for our third and final snack, we are proud to present... Um... Some, uh... Oni oh, 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 yeah, I was like, oni onigiri? Onigiri? Ogi oginiri. <laughs> onigiri. Orinigi. Onigiri. Onigiri. You messed that one on up, uh, one up on purpose. <laughs> yes, I have some onigiris for everyone. One of those kabu and, uh, rice balls, right? Yeah. Oh! I didn't know that, uh, I didn't know that she was supposed to be Japanese. Bold underscore wow. crow cheese. This is exciting. <laughs> it's not every day well, you get to speak to a god with three with that server screen. Much less be bossed around by one. <laughs> uh, hey, old crow! Thank you so much for the 400 bits! <laughs> if it isn't the ve veppiest streamer that's ever stream streamed. That is very true. That is very true. <laughs> Hey, it's a Tina! It's a Tina raid! Welcome in! Welcome in! The, the music is not really matching, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> welcome in! Welcome in! Also, thank you so much for the bits, Old Crow. I appreciate it. And welcome in, Tina, aka Empress Amora. How was your stream? What were you playing? You were playing demos? What, you, what, what demos were you trying out today? Honestly, this game also has a demo. So if you haven't tried it yet, you should. I haven't tried the demo. I just went straight to the game. <laughs> uh, but welcome in, guys. Welcome in. The Empress No More. Exactly. Exactly that one. But I hope you had a good stream. Hope you had a good stream. Go check out Empress Nomura. If you haven't already, if you <laughs> go go do it. But what demos did you try out today? I want to hear. I want to hear. Are you still confused about the crab thing? Honestly, same. Hopefully, maybe that's like the the the, the thing we will figure out at the end of the game. Like that's that's gonna be um, the end game stuff that we figure out about what what's so bad about crabs. <laughs> You know, some cookies you could describe as boring, but they are very good to dip to... Oh, I see, I see. They do taste nice on their own as well, but that would be the closest of boring cookies, you know. I, I don't I don't consider... I don't know if I know of any cookies that are boring. BRB, real quick. Okay, okay. Yeah, go do what you need to do. Hey, DBL. How you doing? Welcome in. DBL has a PhD in butt, la butt laserology. Mm. 
But yeah, I didn't know I didn't know that she was Japanese. That she was supposed to be Japanese. Uh yeah, rice. I am um, love rice. You and every other kid on this planet, Boniface. Hmm. Now, choose. Choose which one you want. Don't worry, I have enough for everyone. You'd like... Hmm. Also, for those of you who are new here, my name is Veprikos. I'm a Norwegian streamer. We are currently playing a game called In Stars and Time. Uh, absolutely enjoy it. Like, love the game so far. I really enjoy it. I recommend. I recommend. There's tons of cookies. You don't like the taste or stuff, but you don't think you would say they're boring either, even if you did, even if you don't like them. Mm. <laughs> okay, what do we want? Uh, you know, I kind of want some onigiri, onigiri for me. There, you go. Bonnie hands you one onigiri. Odile taught Bonnie how to make onigiri a few weeks back. You wonder what Bonnie put inside this time. Apple slices? Apple slices. Did you put apple slices in the onigiris? Yeah. Deal put a plum in hers before, so I figured I'd try putting another fruit in there. Is it good? It's okay, Deal. I know you're old and don't like change, so I'll have one with a plum if you want. Thank you. So, do you all like it? Did I do a good job as a sn as snack leader? You absolutely nod. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Uh, um, uh oh. You say very loudly. Thank you, snack leader, for this delicious meal. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. Mmm, so good, Bon Bon. <laughs> I feel refreshed, invigorated, alive. Hmm. <laughs> Their faces, though. Mmm, <laughs> good food. Yummy, yum, yum. Yes! You got a memory of snacks. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of snacks makes the kid more likely to heal during battle. <gasps> oh! After eating your snacks, everyone's heal... Uh, heal, by the way. Everyone's health has been restored. I didn't really need that, though. I was at full health already. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> smart, yeah. Oh, an onion Gary, or as he's known in Norway, lurking Gary. <laughs> you want apples? Do you have apples, Orion? It's your name from an anime, because you've seen exactly one anime with an actual butt laser in it. <laughs> what anime is that? <laughs> yeah, that picture was funny. It's not. It originated from watching an episode of Doctor Who. Oh! I see, I see. I don't know if I know exactly which one that is, but... Zaw's stupid. We can't be friends. It'll be like being friends with your mom or your sister. So then, um... Which one is Odile? Hmm. Actually, Deal's more like a grandma, isn't she? And you definitely can't be friends with your grandma. Is that how it works? Um. So then, which one is Mira? Belle's like a cool sister. The one who would give me sweets when I ask. Unlike my actual older sister who sucks. I feel that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Which one is Issa? Hmm. Zaw's like a little brother. A little brother? Aren't you like 12 or something? Actually, someone commented on one of my VODs on YouTube uh, because I, I think I questioned like like their age and stuff. Um, and apparently, 
Isabel is like mid 20s and Sifrin is supposed to be late 20s or something. From what I heard, I don't know if it's true though, but that person said it, so maybe. Zal's like a little brother. Hmm. Let's see what they say about me. Which one am I? You're... I don't know. Damn. Oof. You don't and didn't buy when you were shopping because you felt they would just go to waste because you have a hard time to make them like clean and peel and stuff. Mmm. I see. It's called... Asobi Asobase. It's a weird one, but you like it. Hmm. I see, I see. Late 20s in an RPG didn't realize we had a grandma. They're both guys, Gobi. Don't you mean grandpa? <laughs> but yeah, this is this is honestly a very PC game, which is and no, I don't mean on PC. I mean like it's it feels very nice because it has a lot of they're all very relatable they feel like actual characters like real characters but yeah i mean I, I i meant that but it's like i know my own chat that someone is going to comment and say yeah because you're playing on pc right that's why i needed to <laughs> say that that's not what i meant The hardest boss is dying from old age. Hmm. I mean, wouldn't that be an easy boss? Technically, they just called Odile grandma, and is Odile just a bit older than Isabel? I don't remember. PC scrub. <laughs> hey, bomb. I know bomb. I don't know who they if they ever mentioned the, the her age. I don't think they've mentioned anyone's age except that um Bonnie's a preteen. If they said Sif is the oldest of them, yeah, I think that's the only thing we know. So if Sif is the oldest and they're supposed to be in their late twenties. It's a 21st century, can be grandma if they want. True, but no one said that they wanted to be. <laughs> Your sister has a friend who became a grandma at the age of 40. Oh, damn. I have heard that there was someone in, in, in where I'm from where someone became a grandma at, two, like, at, at the 30, I mean. And that's insane to me. That's actually insane to me. But this was several years ago, though. Supperino, I'll be doing well, Palm. Personal computer. <laughs> uh, you just got here? Oh, you don't know. Why are you apologizing? It's nice that you're here. Also, we're getting an ad, so we just might as well just chat for a bit. Uh, while the ads are gonna run anyway. 30, that's insane. Yeah, it is insane. I don't know if it was exactly 30 or if it was like early 30s, but I don't I don't know. E either way, it's insane. Math ain't mathin, uh, grandma at 30. I mean, they could have both been like 15 or something when they got their kids. I don't know. Which is very young, but it's not unheard of, you know? And if it has been known to happen in your family, it's very likely that it's going to happen with younger generations in your family as well. I mean, there's usually a pattern from what I've, what I've seen with a, a lot of people that I, I, I know. <laughs> One of your aunt is your age. 
I actually have an uncle and an aunt that are both younger than me. Yeah. Yeah. Because my grandpa remarried with someone that was... Quite a bit younger. That was the same age as... Um, his oldest son, I think. Yeah. And they got kids. Uh, as well. <laughs> you explained the wrong abbreviation. Mm. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Now I know. <laughs> I didn't know at first, but now I know. <laughs> you get it? You're Hispanic and where you're from back in the day, it happened quite a bit at a young age. Mm. Yeah, I, I think it's... I don't know. Certain areas, it's more common than not, but... And I'm also from... I don't know, I, I guess it's more like a... I don't know how to say it without sounding offensive. <laughs> I don't know how to say it without sounding offensive, because it's like... You know, towns... like, small town type of mentality tend to have... That tend to happen in those places, you know? And that's kind of what it is where I'm from. Even though it's not a small town, but it's like, the mentality is still like that. Kind of. There's a bigger age gap between your mom and your mom's siblings, and your mom had you at a very young age. Mm. That is... Yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> a 20? I mean, that's, I mean, it's young, but it's not really that young for, uh, like, our parents' generation to have kids that young. Like, my mom was, had already had, like, when I was born, I was, uh, like, she was 25. And I was her third. Um... Which means that she had my sister when she was also 20, but that wasn't even her first. Uh, yeah, she was like 18 when she had my brother. When the ads are over, let's have a chat with the others. I hope everyone is alright. The people in Dormont? Yes, but... The King's Curse probably got to them already. It was so close when we arrived a few days ago. Even if we decided to go back, there would be nothing to come back to. So, all we can do now is... Tell me a joke, Sifrin, please. To get my mind off things. Oh, um... I had a meeting with a plum today. <laughs> that reminds me of when, when Dadman calls Rods, you bloody plum. Or... He calls him a plum. You plum. <laughs> I had a meeting with a plum today. A plum? Like the fruit? Yes, that meeting was... Oh, let me guess. It was a very fruitful meeting. Oh no. Was that it? Sorry. For stealing your joke? This is the worst thing that could ever happen to you. I feel you, Sifrid. See? This is what I say, like, every single time that I've streamed this game now. It's like... I feel like Sifrin is me. <laughs> Sifrin is me. <laughs> Good thing that it's the, the, the me character, you know? We're playing... We're basically playing as ourselves today. Or this time. This, with this game. Yeah, this is the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Who are you? If you're not the funny jokes pun person. A funny jokes pun person. Yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> when you were in school, many of your classmates' parents were almost the, the age of your mom's parents. You remember there was a lot of comments on that many times. Really? That's interesting. Hmm. 
Well, I mean, it also depends on how many, like, how many kids they've had before. Because even if you have, uh, even if parents have kids around the same age, that doesn't mean that they haven't had someone before that, you know? So it's just... Even if your mom, like, if you are the oldest out of your siblings, I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm just, like, saying it's just a if, if that was the case. That doesn't mean that the other parents, uh, that the kids that were in your class, that they were the, their first kids either, you know? Hey, Robin! Your mom was 23 and a teacher when you were born... As the first of three? Hmm. Oh, that's not really that young. When you were 20 and your mom was 40, you joked that when you're 50, your mom will be 100. <laughs> oh no, Orion. She wasn't happy about that, was she? Relatable games, yeah. How your mom is so young, your first child. Hmm. Many of them did have older siblings. Yeah, so that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, and the ones that had, like, in my class, the, the, the classmates that I had who had very young parents, they were also the, the, the oldest uh, out of their siblings. They had younger siblings or something, but they were usually oldest. <laughs> you all laughed. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, I guess we all have our off days, don't we? I guess so. Yeah, I'm glad that I chose Isabeau. So apparently in this game you also end up romancing someone, so... I feel like the, the options you had were either Mirabelle or Isabeau. And it's like, I don't really sense any chemistry between these two at all. But these two? These two have a lot of chemistry. Hmm. I hope I didn't make Bonnie upset earlier. You both look Bonnie's way. Bonnie's, a, Bonnie's stuffing their cheeks happily. Never mind. <laughs> At one point in your life, you and your siblings were exponentially older than each other. 4, 8, and 16. Wait, so who- are you the, the- the oldest? Or in the middle? Or- because I know you have a younger sister, so I know you're either the middle child or the oldest child. Chanterall pizza time? Oh, that sounds good. Enjoy, palm- palm alarm. <laughs> oh, it's no palm, don't say that. <laughs> oh, damn. Leave me be now. I need some alone time. You understand. You leave ODLD. Okay, so you don't have anything new to say. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to our bow is a bow. Our bow is a bow. Hey, Sif. Let me guess, you're still hungry? I can see it on your face. One half of this cookie? Isabel waves his last cookie at you. <gasps> yes! No, it's fine. Aw. Okay, let's try that again. And this time you say, yes, please, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, Funny, But- uh, But, by the way. Mr. Amazing, <laughs> Wonderful, Funny, Buff, Isabel. <laughs> I ask again, would you like half of this cookie? Yes, please, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, Funny, Buff, of Isabel. Of course. Here you go. Isabel gave you half of his cookie. I knew I should have picked cookie. I was like, should I have onigiri or a cookie? Chomp. Uh, thank you. Eh, no problem. See, this is why he's he's Isabel. You know, the bow, Isabel. Uh, you back? This reminds you of Undertale a little bit. It is. It is very Undertale like, which is why I wanted to play it. <laughs> Which is why I wanted to play it. It's it's really good though. I really like it so far. But it it also has I see seeing as you you mentioned well I mean you didn't mention but it said in your your 
what you were playing were demos. What what demos did you play? And then I mentioned that this game also has a demo on Steam if you want to try it out. The siblings from your mom's side was uh, you also go two for two year gaps. You have siblings from your father's side as well. And if your siblings are uh, have not the same parents, oh, I see, I see. Hey, Isbo smiles at you. Oh. You reach towards the light. Everyone was healed. Your allies, craft skills, and experience has been recorded for this location. Save your progress? Sure. Mm -hmm. College lesson, someone offers you money or food. The answer is default. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm all, uh, I've all, always been, like, taught that it's polite to say no thank you instead of, even if you want to, that it's more polite to just say no thank you if people offer you something. So it's gotten really difficult for me to, to try to unlearn that. To just say thank you instead. <laughs> and just accept. Um, you will definitely check this demo out. Mm. I, I really enjoy it. I don't know how long the demo is though. I just bought the game. I just went straight to the game <laughs> and bought it because I was going to play it for the, the last uh, raid train we had in CKT. You meant two of the... Two of the youngest have same parents, but you meant you don't have the same? Okay, okay. Did I command for this game? No, I don't. A dad man is your parent and you think he's younger than you? Mm. I mean, he's young. Uh, he's not younger than me, but I I feel that it's very, it's fairly close. The age gap. <laughs> Dumb social rules don't offer if you don't mean it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I also never offer things if I don't mean it, because I don't want to be forced to do something that I don't want to do. <laughs> like I am forced in like forcing myself to do something that I don't want to do in regards to other people. Either can be paid forward. Yeah, I, I, it's true, but. Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. You played Paper Trail, which is a puzzle. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Which is a puzzle adventure game. You're able to fold paper like origami to help your journey unfold. You're watering it down right now, but it's spe spectacular. I have it in my wish list, I think. I think I also saw Pickley played it on stream. The well, the demo, but it looks really cute. You got that on a sale off your wish list. Mm. I actually bought some new games yesterday off the sale, which was the first time that I bought anything for this sale. Probably gonna be the only time as well because they weren't really they weren't really that many that I wanted. Also, is this game on sale right now? during the steam sale because i haven't checked i bought this last month yeah paper trail mm. the steam sale is almost over the only thing you bought are a couple of dlcs but honestly i barely looked at it mm. i bought uh what were the games that i bought hold on I mean, I can show you guys. <laughs> I can show you what I got. Wait, no, that's not what I meant to open. Mm. Yeah, I bought Monument Valley. I finished this today. Which was really, it was it was really good. I highly recommend this game. I haven't tried the second one, but I'm gonna do that. Uh, probably after stream or something. And this is a, a Sami game as well. So I thought that was interesting. I've had it in my wish list for a long time. Lost Ember, Figment 2, because I played Figment 1 on stream last year, I think. 
and I wanted to play the second one too. Milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. Uh, these are horror games, I think, but they're like pixely and they're more like unsettling ones instead of like, they're not jump scary games. They're like text-based, more like visual novel type of games, but pixel graphic, I don't know. Uh, Chicory, I've also been wanting this game for a while. And Death's Door, that's also one that I wanted a while for a while. Draugen, which is a, a Norwegian game, um, which I've also wanted to play. So these, these are the ones that I bought. <laughs> these are the ones that I bought. Wait, I, I always check who, <laughs> what bosses me. <laughs> I'll check it. I'll check it later. I can't, it doesn't, it doesn't show in this overlay thing. But yeah. I'll, I'm airing everyone's business. Wait. Wait, it's showing the thing. Do you see this? Yeah, back to game. I'm pressing shift tab. It doesn't give, give, what? It doesn't put me back in the game. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Um, it looks like it's on sale in Stars in Time. Mm. You try to play a game about an old man reliving his young memories called Spiral until the game basically broke on you twice. Oh, I hate when that happens. Wait, 44 hours and 35 minutes? What, do you, what is 44 hours and four, uh, 35 minutes? I just picked up FTL faster than light and they're... Remaster Ribbon. Oh. I think I've heard of both. That's how old guys do. You bought Super Bunny and other game you can't think of right now. Wish the summer sale was a lot longer. Mm. Yeah, I don't... Isn't it usually two weeks or is it... I think it was longer before, but I'm not sure. You'll have a look before the sale ends, but you're also trying to pay off credit card debts and spending money surprisingly doesn't help. That is a good point, Sarah. A very good point. Yeah, I mean, I could afford to buy games, but I also wanted to not spend as much as I usually play on su the summer sale. So I spend like maybe $45 or something on games, which isn't like super much. This is a command about change. Well, I mean, it wasn't the scene change. <laughs> All the time it's on sale. I see, I see. Yeah, sale ends on July 11th. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Okay, let's... Let's go up here. <gasps> ah, don't hit the... 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 that. You can feel someone in the distance. There's someone over there. Someone? Please, let's go. <gasps> ah, is that someone from the house? They've been frozen by the king's curse. That's that's another house maiden. She she often helped me with chores. I can't believe she's. What was she like? Tell us a bit about her. Oh, she... She started working at the house before me, so she often had to teach me how to do basic things. Huh. Like what? Like, uh, how to cut veggies without cutting my fingers too? I mean, that's a pretty useful skill, I have to say. Belle! I know how to do it now! You go, meow meow, cat's paw, can't cut my fingers, nya. <laughs> the funny thing is, I actually know. I actually know what they mean. It's just, a, it's such a Japanese thing. I, I I could never really do that. I don't, I don't, I don't like holding the things that I chop in the way that they, they say that you should. <laughs> cute. What? Cute? It's cute, 
right? That's how I remember. She taught me how to do it. And she always helped bandage my hands after I hurt myself. Shaking her head, telling me to be more careful next time. She was... such a nice person. She never hurt anyone. The king... Why would the king do this? And I can't even do anything to save her. She's been under the curse for too long. I can't reverse it. I... I'm so... Mirabelle. The king is powering the curse. So if we manage to beat him, everyone should go back to normal. But every new floor, the sadnesses are getting stronger. At some point, we might end up being frozen in time ourselves. If it happens... I... I don't have the power to save anyone from being frozen yet. But... But I'm close. I'm closest to getting it. I swear. Sounds like you should fight some sadnesses and get some experience to make sure Mirabelle can protect you during battle. Hey, Stardust. Just like your research... Uh, just like your researcher said, sadnesses are getting stronger. Some of them have the same power as the king. The power to freeze you in time. Oh, uh... Uh... <laughs> Hello again. Hey, Clever. How you doing? How you doing, Clever? And Elmac... Did we unbox? Yeah, I started the stream with the unboxing. Uh, what does that mean? So when you chop, you're like supposed to make your your hand into like a paw, as to not cut your fingers. That's what they mean. But I never like chopping stuff that way. I think that the, the shout out was on a cooldown, maybe. Um, e EB? I feel that. I mean, I'm not really sleepy now, but I was before. But I hope you've had a good day, though, or... I mean, I guess it's fairly early still for you. Um, Semi-lurking is to keep missing people coming in. No, 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 don't apologize. Don't apologize. I mean, I miss everyone all the time in... in... <gasps> Krausus! How you doing? You would love this game. This is full of puns. The two best people in the game are very punny, and I love it. But how is vacation, Chris? Did I? What did I unbox? Uh, what I unboxed was uh, was was the deluxe edition of of Baldur's Gate Three. It has a lot of good stuff in it. That's what I opened. That's what I opened. Um, yeah, I'll post pictures of everything uh, and post it probably tomorrow, I guess. Probably tomorrow. But how is how is uh, how is vacation going? Are you get? Is it too warm still? Is Dad Moon? Yeah, Crow Man. He's in Croatia with all the other crows. Still early for you, but it's going all right. Hope your day was good. It's it's been good. It's been good. And I can pick up my mattress tomorrow for the 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 the, the day bed, the guest bed. Um. Nothing important then. <laughs> your housemaiden is immune to such attacks. Wait. What attacks? I missed what the attack was. But if you're frozen in time, you won't be able to act. If everyone is frozen in time, your housemaiden is out cold. You lose. Oh, damn. So if someone is frozen, make sure to use her lovely moving cure skill. Okay? Okay. Bye. Well, when she learns the skill, of course. Make sure to level her up a bit, huh? Okay. Let's do that. Dad Moon energized by vacation, trying to start brawls in here. Mm. Yeah. The frozen in time attacks. Yeah, but I haven't encountered that attack. So I didn't know it was like an actual attack. Um, You sweating in places known only to Gary Glitter and PC World Technicians. <laughs> Who is Gary Glitter, by the way? <laughs> Oh, 
other than the heat, all good. You happy for new goodies? I I know. I'm just I'm just I know I know you're joking. I know you're joking. They said some enemies now can do that. Okay, yeah. I I get distracted. Sorry. So <laughs> I have never understood the the swamp ass thing. The only reason why I even heard, like, knew about it was because they they talked about it in sitcoms and stuff. You also an all can eat mosquito buffet. And you're not okay with it. Hey, we don't we don't like anyone who doesn't like uh, like respect can can consent. Wait, words. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, you came back into a bad convo. No, no, no. We're just talking about mosquitoes who 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 bite without consent. That's all. Oh, mosquitoes are the devil. Mm. Uh, you had continuous audio issues? Could you figure it out? Oh no, I hate when that happens. I'm sorry, Tina. And Carrie Glitter was a British rock star who got busted for... Oh. I see. No jokes allowed in here, only serious stream. Mm. It has boob pocket because it's short? Wait, what? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I know exactly what I'm talking about. It's it's a, it's one of my I have a crop jacket and it has pockets, so it's like it looks like the pockets are like right in front of the boobs. It's <laughs> I had to I had to really think about that one. Hope you're 980% slaying. Hmm. That's a pretty good amount of slay, honestly. Use mosquito bait. <laughs> Old crow? Yeah, Chris and crow. You're both crow people. I, d I didn't even think about that. You're both crow people. Um. Chris has all the crow emotes and stuff. Dadman, maybe middle aged crow is a new name option. Everyone else is having fun while you swell up from the family of mosquitoes feasting on every portion of you. Wait, maybe it's a crow thing. Maybe mosquitoes and crows are like arch nemesis. Nemesis. Nem 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 nemesis? <laughs> nem nemesis? It just sounds so weird. <laughs> um, can be shortened to Mac. Hmm. Mac is high dollar, it works out. Mm. <laughs> you slaying the heat away as best as you can, as you should. As you should. Anemones. An Anemonemones. Mm. You're currently cooking up something while doing dishes. <gasps> what are you cooking? What are you making? Nem nemesis? Nemesis. <laughs> A bit of age gross and cheese. If you hate your sister, is she a nemesis? Damn, that's that's a good one. I'll 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 remember that one. And Ananabas? Ananabas. Isn't party of crows called murder? Yes, yes it is. It it is indeed Orion. <laughs> Stop it away like it's an overcooked noodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your sister is your nemesis. 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 It's clearly a murder because you're all slaying. Mm. <laughs> the silence after the shit joke is very telling. Wait, what? Wait. What? 
Wait, what are you talking about? What jokes? Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. I just, I just didn't... Well, I'm just going to say that I agree with Clever. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, housemaiden frozen in time. She looks scared. Yeah, I, I just, I just, like, you know, th there's only so much you, you should say on stream, you know? That's, that's. Ah, fuck. Okay. Oh yeah, butt spot is, is, uh, might not be anymore. Okay, so this is a rock. Uh, so we need paper. We need paper. Paper. <laughs> Let's give it to Odile. What happened to Butt Spot? Butt Spot might not uh, exist anymore. As in, I don't know. I, I, I forgot what the thing said. You're always the butt of its jokes. Mm. As everyone else, really. <laughs> Another bot bites the dust. It's true. It's true. Hey, Fairy Bee. How you doing? Welcome in. As long as they don't touch Seribot, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that the the, the guy behind Seribot would probably know how to to deal with that as well. You thought it just broke for the day? No, I posted it in my Discord uh, yesterday. Um, if you want to see the the where the the creator behind the butt spot. Um, what they said. Paper. Wait. Really? That was so weak. What? I'm shocked. I'm shooketh. Different types of soil. Another bot bites the butt. I mean, some people like that. Some frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. <laughs> Would have thought. The closet is filled with gardening supplies. And... <gasps> Got the garden scissors. You put the garden scissors in your pocket to equip later. <gasps> I can I can equip scissors. I mean, scissor is my, my, my attack, you know? Let's see. I mean, it, in it increases attack, but it doesn't increase attack speed. But it, like, it, the thing is, in in turn based, at the combat, like, what does speed even mean? Like, how does speed work in a turn based game? Like, I just don't, I don't really get it. I might, it, it might be stupid, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Was speed like cooldown in this game? Mm, I don't know. Speed is more movement? Yeah, but in this game it doesn't really- you don't really have movement. <laughs> like, this is- this is- Baldur's Gate 3 is a little bit different, you know? Uh, your own- your own butt spot, apparently? Mm. At least, uh, yeah, we do have butt spots absolute hits in the Discord, that is true. Bite the butts, yeah. Bite the butt is one of your favorite threats you'll never act on for Chris. You support it. <laughs> I don't know. If, maybe it is cooldown? I don't know. Is it like initiative in Baldur's K3? I don't think so because it's been- it's always been the same order. 
Because it doesn't even show... It doesn't show the initiative anyway, so I don't know... How would you even know? You know? <laughs> uh, the same game, both games. You can romance and both have characters. Mm. This game gives you large Earthbound vibes. Yeah, it's very similar to Undertale. You tell him chomp or threaten a butt punch, you don't actually want to bite his butt. <laughs> Try it and see what happens. <laughs> that was so sad. Chris, Chris on Chris. <laughs> I stopped myself before I said the last word. Um, you think it makes sense in this game if it was the speed of the attacks that are in cooldown? Yeah, that does make more sense. It'll be based on your attack speed. Well, yeah, but the speed, the, the the combat in this game, speed doesn't really make any sense, really. So it has to mean something else. You stick to dramatically winding up for a punch. <laughs> this is a threat and a promise. Mm. Physical speed doesn't make, yeah. Well. The Garden Scissors seem to be useful, though. Wait, hold on. Memory of Self. Let me see. Um... Plus five max HP per loop. Huh. So, depending on how many times I die, I end up getting more health. Well, I'll be using that later on then, after we've died more times. Very big plants and some tonics? This room is a mess. Got two super sour tonics. You got one sweet tonic. You give them to Bonnie for safekeeping. Maybe for comedic effect, maybe. Wow, there's no place to pass through with everyone following you. You try your best to pass through the tight space between your allies, the tables and the wall. <laughs> Some tiny frozen plants. They look healthy. Whoever took care of them before they got frozen did a good job. This plant looks like it's dying. It looks all pathetic. Very sad. Very mistreated. Who would do this? It's mine. Oh. I was taking gardening class before the king attacked. Oops. Crab. Crab. <laughs> yeah, they, they say crab instead of crap in this game, by the way. Um. Someone frozen in time? Oh, that's... That's one of the house's cooks. She was in the gardening class with me. She was taking the class to learn how to grow tasty vegetables. She often made soup with the veggies she made. Huh. Once she said she needed some help bringing apart a turnip she grew. Make it into a soup, so we told her to bring it to class and we'd all help her. The next class, she brought the biggest turnip I'd ever seen. She had trouble even fitting it through the door. We spent the entire class trying to cut it. It was that big. <laughs> How was the turnip? Oh, it tasted awful. But since she's a cook and really particular about taste, we had to act as if it was delicious. Thank you. Thank change it was taking an acting Thank change I was taking an acting class too. Damn. <laughs> um it looked at the wiki it, w w wiki by the way. Wiki and it decreases the time until next turn. Mm. Yeah, so it was a, what Orion said then. That makes sense. That makes sense. But thank you though for checking. I appreciate it. You must slither slither away into bed, just uh, had to nip in and say hello to you wonderful people. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Thank you so much for being here, Chris. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful holiday as well. And don't get bitten by more mosquitoes. Just punch them in the face. But yeah, go follow Chris if you haven't already, guys. Go, go follow him 
He's everyone's he's everyone's dad. <laughs> Not the crabs again. Always the crabs in this game. And yeah, ho say hello to Lauren. Say hi to Lauren. You had to leave too, but your current tasks require con concentration. <gasps> no worries, no worries. You do you do whatever you need to do, clever. Think she's stinky. <laughs> no. Uh, it will happen, you're delicious. Mm. Well, you know what they say about people who get eaten by mosquitoes a lot. <laughs> okay, let's go. I don't I don't like that they get reset. Just for leaving the room. <gasps> Statue of the Change God. It's been destroyed. Hmm. Wait! Uh, sorry. Sifrin. It's just over there. That's the head housemaiden's office. The head housemaiden, huh? Someone like her definitely has some good stuff, right? Like keys. Like snacks. Like information. Let's go then. You follow along. I mean, I was going to go there eventually. I just... A pile of papers. You take one at random. It looks like boring ad administrative papers. But it's glowing. Or like sparkling. Some frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. Um... <laughs> Brethren. <laughs> uh, childish drawings of a tall, bright woman. The bookcase is filled with books about various subjects. Various boring subjects. You leave the bookcase alone. A change ornament. A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. Some notes about the king. The head housemaiden must have been looking for more information about him. Why do you even call the king the king? Vogard isn't a monarchy. Isn't king just a title he chose? Yes, but he chose it. Calling him something else will be rude. Yeah, that's just basic manners. <laughs> this place is so weird. Like this town or city or whatever. Vogard is so weird. <laughs> As I said, Sifrin is me. I am Sifrin. It's, it's just... It's just how it'd be. A closet. It's full of boring administrative papers. Childish drawings of a tall, bright woman. A chair. But there's only one, so it'll be rude to sit down. Some papers and ink. On the paper, you can see the spreadsheet of some kind. Of some kind. There's two columns, one filled with names, while the other only has one or two. The first full column is titled Save a Vogard. The second near empty column is titled Other. What could this be about? What indeed? What indeed? Um, you're so tired? Go go to sleep, Orion, if you're tired. It's like <laughs> me in the game. <laughs> Hey, and did you see did you see the, the current sub goal that I have? Then it would definitely be me because as I said, that was also a complete coincidence. But I did say that I, I thought that Sifrin had like blue clothes. Well I guess I guess Ronnie has grey, but it's like greyish blue, you know, it's not just grey, it's greyish blue. Kind of, in a way. And I have I have a a hat like that. You know, in, in blue, grayish. I don't think you saw. It. You can scroll down, but it's like it changes because you know the bar below me. It, it it's the same bar, but it depends on what has been, uh, what has happened last time. Like whether someone gave bits or gifted a sub or something. Um, so it's the one that, uh, the the last action of the two will be, on the, on the bar. But they're kind of sharing the bar. <laughs> um, the Ronnie cosplay comeback? Yeah, yeah. 
So if we reach that, I'm gonna be cosplaying as Ronnie while playing Elden Ring, which we'll be starting tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna go back to Elden Ring and go back to New Game Plus. Well, it's necessary. I'm gonna do a command for the wheel spin, so I don't have to like explain every single thing uh, every time. But for those of you who don't know, who haven't heard, the thing is, I'm gonna be playing New Game Plus uh, because I need all the weapons. Because we're gonna do a wheel spin where for every five subs or 1500 bits during each uh, Elden Ring stream, I'm gonna do a wheel spin where uh, I'm gonna be using a random weapon, whatever the wheel lands on, for 20 minutes. So that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. Uh, probably uh, extra difficult as well, but you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. A pile of papers. You take one at random. It looks like boring. Okay, okay. And the thing about, uh, I so we have technically then two different incentives because... Because... There's the, the, the... Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, thank you so much for gifting yourself to Butt Detectives. <laughs> I appreciate it. There you go. See, there you go. That's that's the bar below me. You didn't have to do that though, Ryan. You can also scroll down on the page if it doesn't if it shows the bits instead. But yeah, so the goal is 75 subs uh, for the the cosplay. Because it's a lot of work. It has a lot of work. I already have the thing ready though, because I've done it before. We even have an emote of it, but it takes a while to do. It takes a while to, to prepare beforehand and stuff. So it's not something that I could do like each stream or anything like that, even though I wanted to, but then I saw how much uh, preparation it required. And then I was like, um, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Wait, Robin! <laughs> Thank you so much! <laughs> Thank you for the three gifted subs! Thank you so much! Now you started a hive chain, you didn't have to do that! But thank you! Now we have- we- we are- We're getting there! We're getting there! <laughs> thank you so much! I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But yeah, it was it was a it was a fun cosplay though. It's just I have to like paint my my skin blue, you know. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the eleven bits. We reached the the bit goal of the day. Thank you so much. Closer to the goal. We are closer to the goal. It's gonna be fun though. I am looking forward to it. Even though it, even though it's gonna be difficult, um, it's gonna be fun. I'm I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. But thank you so much. Orion Wolfie achieved. I'm all point one hundred and eleven. All right. <laughs> thank you for the one hundred and eleven bits. <laughs> you guys are too kind. You're too kind. Yeah, so tomorrow is going to be an interesting stream, for sure. We're going to start playing Elden Ring. It's, it's the base game, though. It's not the DLC, just in case anyone was confused by that. So you don't have to worry about DLC spoilers, at least, in my stream. Because I am also... I'm going to start a brand new playthrough, but on New Game Plus. So... You don't, you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to make sure that I put it in the title too, though, so that people don't think that I'm going to be playing the, the main, the, 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 the DLC. Um, the bookcase is filled with books about various subjects, various boring subjects. You leave the bookcase alone. Okay. We're going to leave the bookcase alone. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. There was nothing important in there, right? 
so this is fine. What a waste of time. At least we didn't get squashed, though. That's that's a good point. A big rock. At least this one didn't fall right on you, uh, you or anyone else. Could we maybe break it down? We could try, but... S smash? What? <gasps> the rock did not flinch. <laughs> How's your fist? I'm okay. <laughs> and he's crying. <laughs> oh no. Um, no spoilers. I mean, if you want spoilers, you can, you can, th there's like, I, th I guess like 75% of all of Twitch is playing the DLC at this point, so. Spoilers, uh, there shall be. If you look for it, you will find it. <laughs> you want to play the DLC, but it is difficult. You have had to close, uh, you have, you've been close to a few meltdowns while playing it. Oh no. You've beaten a couple of bosses. That's good. That's good. You see new spoilers almost every day? I don't know how I, I've avoided it. Um, I had to mute people though. I had to mute people on Twitch. No, Twitch. Twitter. And, um, and some extra Discord channels as well. So I didn't get uh, live notifications because some people say in their live messages and stuff what they're gonna do. And I'm like, I, I, I don't pay attention, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just, uh, and it doesn't stick, so I don't really know <laughs> what they say. <laughs> um, but I have seen that there's some names or something. Like, hey, I don't want to see this. <laughs> but thank you so much for the lurk, Sarah. There was one boss that was frustrating, but in a nice and go uh, good way. Mostly YouTube, because TikTok, you don't really get them anymore, but if there's... You try to swipe super fast, but YouTube is still a problem. Mm. Yeah, I guess maybe that's why I haven't gotten spoiled because I don't really have a lot of I don't really have any souls type of things on my recommended page, so it doesn't really get recommended to me. You understand people do challenges and stuff and lore, but it just came out. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it really sucks, but. It's hard to have, um... Also, thank you guys so much for the hype train. Wait, I got an emote. What is this emote? It's a vacuuming mouth. <laughs> Consume. <laughs> thank you guys so much for the hype train. I appreciate it. You're very kind. You're very kind. Uh, you just watched lots of Elden Ring lore before DLC and you have also recently watched lots of Dark Souls lore and uh, analysis stuff as well. Mm. Yeah, it, it might be because of that then. Oh, well, probably. You've not gotten the tutored message prompt in so long. Hmm. Welcome back, Palm. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. The big sadness. They're so sad. This one didn't even come for me. Um, that door sure is locked. Yep. It sucks. Mirabelle, any idea where the key for this would be? I'm not sure. I, uh... Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. I remember. The key. The key is in the head housemaiden's office, in her desk drawer. Of course you remember now. What? How did you miss it? Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have remembered. Why didn't I remember? Hey, don't worry about it, Mira. Yes, you're not to blame here. Okay, so we can... This is... If we die, then we at least know to, to pick it up then. If anything, it's Sifrin's job to look out for things, so... Hey, can we break it down? It looks really solid. And the fact that it's frozen in time doesn't help. So... Are we stuck? Uh, well, we could keep exploring this floor. But I'm... I'm pretty sure the key for this door was in the office. If we can't access it... What should we do? We could. You could... You could loop back to before the room collapsed, couldn't you? And explore the admin room more? 
I could also stay here, but I don't think there's any point. Hey, Stardust. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm here in your head to beam you some amazing advice. Um, you don't want to block all of them because eventually you would like to maybe watch them. Mm. You're hungry as well now? Honestly, same. <laughs> I, I didn't get to eat right before stream, which I usually do because I wasn't... I was still kind of full-ish. Not full, but I wasn't hungry since last time I ate. So I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Pizza was alright. That's good. That's good. Oh god, this is exactly wrong all the time. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the salad makes in some barbecue sauce with it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, some amazing advice. See this little icon on the top right? This is a helpful little icon to inform you that you are stuck in time. No matter what, you won't be able to pro uh, progress any farther in the house in this loop. Only thing you can do is find a way to loop back. Oopsies. Say though, didn't you see some tears on the way there? They might do the trick if you need to loop back easily. Come say hi sometime. I'm so lonely. Sob, sob. Do you feel sorry for me yet? Well, I guess we're gonna loop back. The tear floats gently. Touch it. Yes, looping time. No, living time. <laughs> looping time. You reach out to the tear. A tear froze you in time. We're gonna start again. Hey, Stardust. Welcome back. Here's something I forgot to mention before. It'll save you time, so it's important, so listen up. Do you see the house now? Do you see how you can loop to specific moments, specific places? Looping backwards in time is a piece of cake for you. But looping forwards in time is going to be a little harder. You're going against the loop's will, after all. To be able to move forwards in time when you die, you'll need to use up some of your memories. Do you see that little star symbol at the bottom of the screen? It shows you how many, many memories you have at your disposal. Trying to get farther than where you just died will cost you some memories. So make sure you have enough memories to spend. Oh, I can sense you're panicking. Don't worry. This won't use up the good, fun memories you have of your party. Just the boring, useless memories you have of your battles. Have you noticed? For each battle you fought, you've gained some memories. Some me you gain one memory of skirmish. Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> and those are the memories you can use to loop forwards. Over time, you'll fight uh, some battles that will earn you even more mem memories. Isn't that neat? Oh, look at me, yapping and yapping. I'll condense all of that information in one sentence. To loop forwards in time, you'll need memories, which you gain every time you win a battle. And by the way, you open a floor's gate. Good work, good work. If you manage to open a floor's gate in the future when you loop back, you'll be able to get that floor with the most doors open by using memories. Pretty useful if you're too lazy to find all the keys again. To unlock all the doors, those doors, press X on this map screen. Do it. Do it. Well, not now. I'm talking. I actually didn't do it either. <laughs> okay. Now. Well, I did press X. Let's see. I think we need to go back to Dormont because there's one... There was one person who had, like, a... Something. You wake up. You yawn. You knew being frozen in time just felt like a nice nap. Oh, but a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Hold on. You reach towards the light. You close your eyes. Okay, let us save. 
Um, didn't you have other reason to go to the? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. That in that's interesting. Yeah. We do have some stuff we can do here. There was a, a shop owner who had something. I guess we'll figure it out. But I think this is where I'm gonna wrap up for today because I am getting hungry and I'm also like I had a really bad migraine yesterday and I'm a little bit afraid that I'm gonna get a new one. <laughs> I feel some 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 weirdness in, in my, my head. Which is not good. Uh, and also this black and white, very bright screen is also not good for that. <laughs> now it says act one, uh, act two. Mm. A stab migraine away. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me change the thing. Uh, there we go. Thank you stream, enjoy your meal and take care of yourself. Thank you so much. And also thank you so much for, for being here. And the bits and, and just, you know, just hanging out, crowing about. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we go. We, we have some stuff to do tomorrow as well. Um, gonna go back to Elden Ring. But yeah, I, I've, I've, I really enjoy this game. I really enjoy it. It's, it's very good. And it's funny as well. And it doesn't seem as repetitive as I was afraid of because you can still, like, you don't have to start from the very beginning, like the, the, the village that we just moved back to. At least you can loop back to a certain point. Like, it doesn't put you back at the start every single time, which is what I was afraid of. So that helps. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 bits, all right. <laughs> oh, 666 bits. I see. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> Thank you so much, though. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to be a little. We're going to be back again tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to start later tomorrow than I do on Tuesdays because that's how my schedule is. Uh, now I don't really have work. Um, I've been kind of forced to take a uh, vacation, <laughs> so I don't actually have to, to go to bed early on Tuesdays, but I still try to stick to the schedule that I have anyway. So that's why I'm live at the, the, the hour that I am. But tomorrow we're gonna also be back at 9 p.m., which is like two hours earlier than this. For those of you who are not in CST time zone. Um, so yeah, 3 p.m. EST, if you're in EST. That's when I'm going to be live tomorrow. But you can see the schedule there if you don't know my schedule. Um, but yeah, I usually ping people like a, a couple of hours ahead of time to remind people that I'm going to be live. Or if something unforeseen shows up and, and I just need to cancel or something. So... And thank you, Ryan, for, for all the commands. I also post all my VODs on YouTube. Um, so for those of you who haven't seen the beginning of this game and would like to, I I'm I play this game every Tuesday. So it's like if you if you are a little bit behind and you want to know what the game is about and stuff, you can catch up very easily because it's gonna be uh Oh these these streams are a little bit shorter. And it's also once a week, so it doesn't it doesn't take too long. And this was day three, so and just in case you want to, you know, in case you want to be well now. Don't get a migraine. Thank you. I I hopefully not. <laughs> a tattooed bard. How you doing? Having a great day. I am. I am having a pretty good day. I'm having a pretty good day. Um. You know who we can raid? Who I never get to raid or haven't been able to raid in a while. I know, I know why why <laughs> Sarah said that he was lurking. I didn't know that it was because he was streaming. 
But that's good. We can raid Sarah then. We should raid Sarah because I never get to do that. He usually streams way earlier than me. Um, but he is uh, he is also doing his n no hit. Well, I mean his his uh, hitless Dark Souls three run, or he pr he's practicing for that. So let's do it. Let's go. Hold on, let me let me start the raid. Let's go say hi to Sarufian. Uh, let me find him in the list here. Let me find him in the list here. And we can start the raid. Yeah! We started it, we did it! <laughs> but yeah, so for those of you who are subbed, you can copy the first raid message. If you're not subbed, you can copy the second one. Um, or you can make up your own if you want to. Uh, just don't... Don't be too lewd or something, you know? <laughs> Your necklace look- Thank you! I appreciate that. So many people have complimented me on my necklace today. I appreciate that. Thank you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope I will see some of you tomorrow as well, which is gonna be a lot of fun, maybe, depending on how things go. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> but I'm gonna be go going back to Elden Ring tomorrow, starting a brand new playthrough on New Game Plus. So, hope to see some of you then, because we finished Baldur's Gate 3 on Friday, so we are kind of done with that for now. Hm. But also, yeah, have a good one until then. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Thank you so much for everything you've done today as well. <laughs>